Hello, this is Dimitri with uh, UKids LLC U Gears US. Uh, today we're going to be assembling uh, model Aviator by U uh, Gears. Uh, this is one of the fairly recent models. I just haven't had a chance to get to it, but uh, just like with any other models. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's uh, start the assembly. Uh, this is brand new packaging, as you can see, and. Uh, actually uh, wanted to get to that model sooner than later and uh, fortunately haven't had time to do that i know it's going to take some time to put it together but we'll see so this model comes with uh, eight boards uh, with the instructions manual there and there's a lot of the uh, rubber bands here candle wax stick uh, there's a little paper clip these two little uh, sets of boards that's uh, you got a helicopter and the a little airplane to attach to the uh, um, little the tower with I guess uh, with control tower obviously a lot of toothpicks some thick rubber bands and uh, that's about it for the components so I'm gonna set it aside then go ahead and open the um, main boards uh, everything is shrink wrapped in plastic just to make sure that uh, uh, moisture doesn't get to it and it's stored properly. I'd still recommend to store it in a cool dry place. And uh, as I mentioned, there's eight boards um, and instructions manual. There's a page with uh, explanation or uh, introduction to the designers. Uh, some quotes, uh, part replacement information, um, which you can either contact the manufacturer by uh, going to their website, or uh, you can send me email and I can replace the parts for you at no charge if you place the order with us through uh, www.ugears.us, or uh, if you place it elsewhere, I can uh, forward the info to uh, the manufacturer. Um, and uh, or for a small fee of three dollars and fifty cents i can ship it from my warehouse in chicago so I'll reach to you faster and just the fee to cover the postage cost and the uh, envelope i'm not charging anything for the parts uh, and uh, just send email to info at ugears.us and we can explain to you how the uh, replacement part works or you can go to our website there is a link uh, with the replacement part information so uh, let's start with the manual as always do not light the candle that you use to wax the parts do not press with your finger onto the toothpick because you will hurt yourself uh, let's go through a little legend here uh, icons that we used out throughout the uh, manual we got uh, candle wax with the little toothpick and a gear drawing that means you need to apply candle wax on there or any kind of hard lubricant i um, actually have one that meant to, to try out but uh, it's a dry graphite lubricant but i see it is uh, dark color so i don't want to use it i don't want to try it out i need probably to see if there is a uh, colorless or something similar without a color to it because i don't want to add um colors uh next icon it's a uh, use exacto knife that's the only tool that you need outside of the kit uh doesn't come with it candle is a candle wax comes with it but i prefer personally i prefer to use uh one from ikea that's a little tea light candle uh, i find it to be softer and it's just easier to apply uh easy get on a finger and put it on a part exclamation point you need to pay close attention to what uh, instructions say otherwise the model will not work if you see a little gear mechanism uh, make sure it's operating uh, so at that point of the in, uh, instructions just check make sure uh, we'll go through it but check to make sure that the mechanism is um, moves smoothly uh, if you see the mirror that means you need to either assemble it in a mirror uh, version uh, opposite or uh, you just need to attach it from a different direction uh, if you see a little sandpaper you need to send the parts uh, and that's it oh and obviously if you see on the board additional but add plus symbol with a little uh, 
wrench on there that's additional part or spare component just to make sure that if you break one uh, there's one extra so like this sign right here on the board that's a spare component uh, you're not gonna use it in assembly unless you break the original part uh, also toothpicks are included this is just a sample or approximate dimensions on it it's just a regular two-point toothpicks that can be purchased at any grocery store or convenience store or usually readily available in any household so you can use those if uh, the toothpicks because unfortunately occasionally they come with a defect so if they do uh, as I said, you can just use the regular toothpicks that are available here in the United States. Um, also, we they do provide the helping tool. It is located on board number one, the top left corner here. So you can just pull it out right away. It's got some measurement uh, on here. And uh, you can use it to punch out, measure something. So it's uh, going to be used throughout the assembly. Can also put it on the side. So let's go ahead and start with the um, assembly. Uh, first step, uh, we're on page four. Uh, that's gonna be, we need part number one and four parts number three. So parts number three are in the top left corner here. So here where the tool comes handy is just you push the parts out and uh, we do need four of them. And also you need part number one, which is on the uh, about middle, uh, a little above the middle on the left hand side. So part number one, and we insert four of these guys here. And uh, just to make sure they sit fully seated in uh, on that assembly then we need two toothpicks cut in half and uh, we insert them from the bottom to into part one through the four holes that are available there. So they're gonna be sticking out in the same direction as parts number three. If it was a little hard to push it through, I usually use leverage, which is table in my case, and just push it out until they're flush from the back, so. Uh, if they're not, I mean, you can use your uh, helping tool, just push them in, and they're flush. Uh, let's see, step number three, we need part number four, which is also on board number one, top right corner. Here's two of them, as we're going to be making two of these uh, sub assemblies. So, top right corner, I'm going to go with that one first. Uh, I guess it doesn't uh, matter which way you put it in, but it's gonna go over that assembly. And then we need part number five, which is, uh, let's see, on that top left corner here. There's a set. So that one, I do have a precision file, or you can use the sandpaper that is provided inside the box. Uh, just uh, send off the connection points and apply a little bit of wax per the instructions in step four. So in my case, I just dip it in into the candle wax that I have, and that goes inside there in between the middle hole. You just sit over the hole. Now we need uh, step number five. We need parts number two. Uh, we need four of them. They're top left corner, all the way in the corner. So use your helping tool to get those out. And we need two, same thing, send them and just a connection points. They're gonna be used as the, I guess, bearings. So 
So I'm just sending off the connection points and we need to apply a little bit of a wax on them. I'm just using my fingers on a wax. This uh, That's why the uh, that tea light candle wax is a little better preference because I can just apply some to my finger and uh, put it on a part. So these go all the way in to, set, to be sandwiched in between the part number five and part number four. All the way down to the surface. And then we cover it up with part number one again, which is on board number one on the left side about the middle of the board. Once again, it go, it's gonna go through the toothpicks and then as far as it can go, and then it locks onto part number three. You might need to use the tool a little bit to adjust the parts number three so it fits right into the holes. And press it in to lock it in place. Once again, as far as they can go. You might want to do the toothpicks, adjust, readjust the toothpicks again, push them back out if they pulled out. And then if you can see the part number three sticking out a little bit on both ends. So, and also that needs to somewhat freely rotate inside. And after that, we are taking the toothpicks out. So just the way I do it is uh, I pre-cut it and then break it off. And sometimes just cut it and it flies off. So it's another option. Now we have our assembly here uh, that's done with step number seven. Moving on to step number eight, we need part number six, which is in the top right corner here. Uh, and we need two of them and the same thing. They need to be sanded and wax. Uh, so I use the precision file. I just, that one, I think it was Harbor Freight tools. Uh, it was like a dollar or something like that for that file. So same thing, a little bit of a wax as we're going to be inserting that part into something. And that goes on the side of part number four. These little tabs on the right and left. Just like that. So internal part is spins around and we need to make a second, just like that, a uh, second one. So we need two part numbers once, four part number threes. Part number four, it's right here at the center a little bit above the middle part number five uh four number twos so we're pretty much just repeating the steps that we're did with the previous sub assembly oh and two toothpicks obviously with it cut in half All right, so um, parts number three, insert it into one. Then toothpicks. All the way in. And 
I'm going to push them in flat. With the surface. Next step is number four, goes over it. Number five, send off the connection points, a little wax on it. Put, put it inside. And just sit flat against uh, part number one. Then four little number twos, same thing, just send out the connection points. done oh obviously a little wax on these two goes all the way they go all the way in in between parts number five and four you need to push the parts of number five a little bit to get it seated and then cover it up with part number one Make sure number threes are lined up. And as they do, just push it in as far as it can go. Readjust the toothpicks. Spin it around a few times. So the operation is easy and then cut off the toothpicks that are sticking out. All right, so we're done. We have two times uh, part uh, subassembly A1 and we're done with page number four, moving on to the page number five. Need parts uh, number eight, seven, and eight. So both of those are on board number one. Two eights on the bottom here, all the way to the bottom left, center. Two eights, and then one number seven. Number sevens are right here at the center. So these parts are fragile. Um, there's four corners, and that's where the connection points are at. So you wanna disconnect the connection points first. Uh, let's see the eight with the uh, semicircle round portion away from you and put it into one I'm applying the pressure to the leg you don't want to squeeze it from the top and then the, the other one that goes on top it's uh, in the same, make sure it's the same uh, outline, same direction for the circular portion of it. Uh, once again, I don't want to squeeze it because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. It looks like fragile part. And then we need uh, two parts number nine for the step number two. Part number nines are here and the bottom a little bit to the right. So the connection points, usually you can see them. If you turn it upside down, they're actually better visible from this side. So you can estimate where the connection points are at and apply a little bit of pressure there. Just make sure you not to break that part while you're doing that because they're fairly fragile. So we need two of those and those go from the top into the same holes.
So I'm holding number seven by the legs and just putting the number nines in the same slots. And so that's gonna be our A2 and we need three of those. So uh, use up less the rest of the number eights and just repeat steps one and two two more times I'm just pulling all the parts out uh, number seven number nines The other option is uh, you can go from the back, use your exacto knife, uh, look up, look at connection points, and just pre-cut it. A little pressure with exacto knife that actually, as you can hear, a little snapping noise. I'm just cutting out those connection points, and then once you do, the parts pretty much just fall out from the board. All right, so we're in, uh, repeating steps one through two. And once again, make sure they're facing number eight, they're facing the same direction. That's second set, and then that's set number three. I'm wiggling the part a little bit too to get it into the uh, holes. So not too hard, but just enough to squeeze it in. If it doesn't go very easy. That completes our step number three we got three times the a2 uh, next step we need part number so step number four we need part number 10 and 11 so those are on board number two in the top right corner so there's some parts inside of it so we're gonna pull, push the parts out first the number tens I'm gonna do two of them because it says we need to do it twice So two number A3s, and then internal components, you just push it from the other side, and uh, that helps these fibers that are connection points to stay on this piece rather than pull it out, pulling it off, the, off of the piece that you're using, of the part. So these internal components I'm going to put on the side. We need, uh, for each sub-assembly, we need four number 11s, and uh, so total we need eight. There's top corner, top right corner, top left corner. There's some on the bottom there. I guess we're gonna use them later too. And then we need uh, four number six parts. They're gonna be on board back in the board number one. They're uh, top right corner here. Oh, and that's what I forgot to do. As I see, the parts are missing. Uh, we need four, and we need two for the A1 that I uh, 
didn't pay attention to and I forgot to add those in. All right, so uh, I'm gonna sand and wax all of them. Number sixes, I mean. All right, and now apply wax. And two of them I'm gonna put on A1, the one that I forgot to put it in the beginning. I would eventually have to when I get to the assembling that but we might as well do it just to be make sure that we're on the same page all right and then uh, back to the assembly step number four so we need four of these uh, into the uh, the slots that are right next to the round holes. So it looks like the slots are in a horizontal direction for me. So I'm just pushing these parts in to the slots and pushing them all the way in just like that. Uh, that's number four. Number five step is uh, we already waxed these and send it, send it and waxed. So these go on the ends of these part number 10 all the way in. All right, and then we got two of uh, A3s ready. Next step is uh, step number seven. Uh, we need part number 12 and 13. So they're both on board number one. Uh, first 12 is right here, bottom left corner. Push it out, apply the pressure evenly. And then part number 13 are right here, right in the middle, almost at the bottom. So we need one of these. Actually, let me pull that one out completely. It'll just be easier. And then part number 14 for the step number two. So let's see, uh, put the number 13 in here first. Once I do, I would apply a little bit of a couple runs of sandpaper or a file just to smooth out the surface and the number 13 then we need to apply a little bit of wax on the sides there and then part number 14 which is on let's see board number two right top in the center here that one goes over the top all the way down so that's our a4 we're gonna put on the side and we need two of those so same assembly we need number 12 which is right almost in the middle here number 13 see I can send it while I'm holding it in my hand so a little bit 
put it in onto the part number 12 all the way in uh, put a wax on it on all the round pieces here and then part number 14 from uh, board number two at the top all the way there through 12 all the way down to that round piece so there's going to be movement like that uh, so we got two of those done with page number five moving on to the page number six so then then we take a3 and uh, two of these uh, a4s that we did and then these go right into the hole and we insert it over the parts number 11 here just like that possibly not too tight make sure there is still movement Easy movement because if you press it too hard, it's not going to be moving too easy. But still, we need to make sure that they all the way in, and then you work it out just to to get it moving the A force. So this is our A one, the A one A, A one one A. It's going to get confusing. Uh, step number three: we need part number fifteen. Once again, 14 and 13. So the 15s are on board number one again. They're on the left bottom corner here. So I'm gonna put both of them out because we also need two of those. So 13, we still have that uh, section out. So we need two of those. And two 14s, one 14 is, uh, the both of them are on the um, top of board, cent top center of board number two. So we just need two. Uh, same thing here. We're gonna send our number 13. Uh, one and two. Put it onto number 15s. Uh, apply wax. Put number 14s through it, through the other end, all the way up to the round ones. Those are A5s. And then we take the second A3 and we put those here on a, into the round openings in the circle openings there. Once again, push it as far as it can go and then work it out so it moves nice and freely and easy. All right, we're done with these two. That's going to be our 2A. Alrighty, nice and easy movement. Uh, next step number seven, we need parts number 16, two of them. They're on board number one, and they're on the right corner, or right side here, right corner. They're long that it's almost taken the full side. So part number 16, and it's right, the other one is right below it. Careful, maybe fragile. Uh, and then we take one of the A1s. Now let's see with the opening, the little tab here, open tab slot uh, facing away from you. And then we take the 16th with the uh, extensions towards you. We put that into the, there's little open slides or slots here and slots here on the side. So that's the way you put those in, into those slots all the way in. as far as they can go. 
So there's like a little tab here that's going to go into the hole. Just like that. We're done with uh, step number eight. Step number nine, uh, we need to wax these little two tabs here. Or we should have waxed those two, but it's all right. And then we take one A with the longer pieces and that's going to go, we squeeze these here a little bit, push these through into the hole. Uh, moving on to the page number seven. And let's see. So the part, this one, A1 is still on the top. We're not pushing it through the circle. And we insert the second in one same direction at the top here. like that alrighty that's our step number two step number three is uh, we take the a2 and from the outside so where the a1 is in the smaller side from that side we insert the a2 into the slots with the round pieces facing towards inside. Uh, so let's see, we kind of need to wiggle it in. One side, and then we can squeeze it in carefully into the other side, just like that, and lock it in. And then lock it onto the long extensions. The number, I think it was eight pieces. So there's some holes in that uh, number 16. So push those in into those holes, just like that. And then step number four, we take the second one and uh, insert it here. on the other side. So it's going to be, I think, either side. Just like that. And then step number five, or next page, I should say, step uh, page number eight, step number one. The third one goes into the third set of holes on the right here. Once again, make sure that the round is facing towards the inside. So we lift it up a little bit, get it into the holes. So it's, it's nice and tight, get it into the slots here, into the number 16, just like that. Uh, we're done with uh, step number one. Step number two, we need the third number 16, which is on board number one right here in the middle. So and that one's going to go through the bottom. Uh, we need to wax a little bit this slot here and slot in the top. And that's going to go from the bottom through the hole. And we're going to insert it in. Let's see, too far. So that slot goes into the slot right here. And we're kind of spreading these up a little bit. Uh, the A2s that we just inserted. Hold on, I didn't get to it yet. Separating these slightly. Don't don't apply too much pressure. Make 
sure it's lined up. So that one, we got the bottom one and then the top. Until it clicks. And then insert the A2s into the corresponding slots just to lock it in place. Just like that. We're done with step number three and four. Uh, moving on to the page number nine. Uh, let's see, step number one, we need two parts, number 17, actually we need total, and for step two, we need four more, so total of six, they're all on board number eight, there's one bottom right, two right here in the middle, one in the middle to the right, 17 right in the center, halfway, above the middle to the top and a little bit to the right so we got six of these and these go over these two tabs just to lock everything in place if uh, they don't go in easily you can apply a little bit of wax on these tabs and then it should go in much smoother try not to break anything off make sure that these are in the slots insert it completely I'm squeezing up, squeeze it up a little bit and it should go in much smoother. Locking these in place. So I'm pressing on these two and then inserting part number 17 over it. So we're done with step number two, one, two, three. Next step is uh, number four. We need two parts, number 18. They're on top of board number one, right here. And those uh, apply a little wax on the tabs. And these go, let's see, over these round pieces right here. Number six. Of part subassembly A1 on the bottom. Just like that. So they're sitting right here on these tabs. And then step num page number 10, step number one, is we push the, the, I guess, 1A piece, four holes here, I mean, two holes here. We put right into these little tabs. So I'm gonna do one side first. Over. And then the second part, we put it over and then insert it Make sure the other one side is sits there, just like that. So now we can have a motion like this. And uh, that's, we're done with step number two. Step number three is that, uh, let's see, we need part number 19 and 20. And three times we need to repeat the same process uh, and all of those on board number three so we got 19s are in the top right corner here gonna put them on the right hand side and then 20s are on the left hand side right in the middle so these we got a little tabs here, so we want to wax them a little bit. Well, not that much. Just 
and then 19 same tabs they're just facing the other direction we also want to wax them a little bit and that's going to go into these openings here so what 19 is from the right side so the slots right here and then 20 is from the other side they're kind of like low on uh, lower the tabs and then we squeeze them in to get it assembled let's see work it in a little bit here you go and just like that until they're flush on both sides and we repeat the same thing three times uh, we want to do either a little bit more wax and you want to apply all over these little tabs because they are somewhat hard to push in but so 19 towards the top of these slots uh, 20 is towards the bottom of these slots and then you work them in a little more wax over the place these tabs 19 towards the top 20 towards the bottom and work them in all the way in all right that completes clean off the wax if you have some extras on there that completes step number four moving on to the page number 11 um, step number one I'm gonna put it on the side step number one is parts number 22 they're both on board number one right in the center here Part number 21 that one's to the left of them right in the middle to the left of the center line and then these 22s with the cir uh, hole circular hole facing down the 22 goes uh, with the round portion towards inside into these little holes here And that goes, we need another 21, which is to the right of these, uh, right in the middle, to the right of the center line. So this goes uh, at the top, A1. And then the holes go over number sixes here and then plug it in. the 22 just like that so moving part we're done with page number 11 moving on to the page number 12 uh, we take the 2a that we had assembled and that goes right into these 21 parts so there's uh these sluts uh you want to put a little bit of a wax on here maybe on these tabs and 
that goes over. Oop. Might want to clean out that wax. Maybe play it a little bit too much. And the 21 goes into these slots, openings. All the way in. Just like that. We're done with step number one and two. And then step number three is that we connect these rods just like this. You line them and squeeze them together from one side. Until they're flush. And the other side, same thing. I'm gonna use helping tool in a second. Just line these up. And we need to get them flush with each other. Using helping tool. Here we go. Until they're flush. That uh, concludes step number three. And then step number four, we need to connect these links with parts number 24 and 23. They're also on board number one, 24th, 24th are right here. So we need four of these. They're right at the top there. And 23s are on the, to the left of the center line, halfway between the middle and um, bottom. So we line these up, push the 24s through it, and to make sure that it goes through the two parts all the way in. Just like that. And then on the other side, same thing. Moving on to the page number 13. I'm done with that part, step number one. Uh, step number two, we need part number 25. 26 and 25. So 25s were inside these circles, those on board number two. So we push these out. We got part number 77 left there. On both of those. And then parts number 26, they're also on board number two. On the bottom left here. Long pieces. Careful separating them, they're long and fragile. Oops, got a large part here, 76 out accidentally. Make sure we don't lose it. I don't think I'll be able to, but okay. So that goes over the top here. We do the 26 once again with the uh, circular opening towards the bottom. Uh, 26 get inserted here into the slots, rectangular holes. And then we go over the number six on the very top part. Another 25 from the other side. And the 26s are inserted into the slots. And Lining it up and push it in, push it in all the way in so it locks them in place just like that. And that we're done with the steps number two, three, and four, and page number 13. So we have nice moving piece here. Moving on to the page number 14. Page 14, step one, three toothpicks. Uh, snapped in half. Uh, 
let's see, on part number 27. They're on board number four. Uh, to the left here, there's two of them and we need both. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's like a little tab here. Uh, so that should be, well, doesn't matter at this point of time, but uh, once you match up the uh, the other number 27, it should be, uh, they should match like a little dot on the tab. They should match together. So we're putting the toothpicks from the bottom and I'm pushing it against the table. So uh, give myself a little bit of a leverage and uh, get them flush um, on the surface there. So matching up the two holes and uh, push the, and try to push the, uh, part a little bit at a time just to make sure you don't snap it just like that snap uh, push it together until it's flush that's part of step number two and then step number three we need to uh, cut off the toothpicks Then we use the sandpaper. It's also part of the step number three. Uh, and we make sure if one side or both sides, we need to sand uh, the side here. So I'm gonna use actually do the both sides just a little bit. I don't think we need much, just so it's nice and smooth. And I'll do it on both sides. Nice and smooth. Uh, run your fingers through. Uh, step number four, we need parts number 29, 229s and 128. They're both on board number five. So we already, board number five. And uh, part number, let's see, 28 and 29. Oh, sorry. They're still on board number four. Number five, that's going to be a little bit further. So on board number four, and number 28 is right here at this a little bit below the middle to the left of the center line. Might want to use some careful with that part not to break it. And part is number 29. Uh, let's see, they're right here within this uh, circle here. Uh, we need two of them at this time. So they are right at the center line that you can find these two. So I'm pushing like the whole block out first. And then doing the parts. And that goes uh, because there's going to be some movement on these angles. I would put a little bit of a wax, but it's not specified, but um, just in case. So we do 28s on two of them, on two sides. And then that goes into the part number 30. And then part number 30 is the one on page uh, on board number five. Let's see, board number five, right at the center here. Uh, middle and a little bit to the left of the center line. So we take the block out and then push the part out. And that goes into these two holes, the part number 29. All the way in. 
Uh, next step is we need part number 31, which is on board number four, back to four. And then uh, 31 is going to be right here, bottom left. And then another piece 28, which is right on top of it. That one I'm going to also wax a little. So we're going to put a 31 on one of the ends of the bottom 28. And then the top 28 goes right in the top hole. And let's see, we need uh, also part number 32 and 31. Again, 32 is on board number 5. Uh, a little below the middle uh, to the right, all the way at the edge there. And then uh, part number 31 is to the right of the center line, a little bit of the, above the middle there on board number four. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, we need to put the 32 in first. I'm going to take the 31 out to push the 32 in. And then put it back on. And put the, the other 31 on the opposite end. Let's see if I'll be able to. Get it in, I need to start it. So I'm gonna put it on the uh, table, start it first, giving a little bit space so I can still insert this into the uh, 31 on the bottom, which didn't help much, but at least because I started it, so it's easier to uh, get it in the second time. And then the other 32 piece at the top or 28 and then I'm gonna push it in to snap these two together and then I want to make sure that uh, part number 31 is all the way in so I'm gonna apply a little bit more pressure and get it in there so now we have movement in all of it and we're done with step number eight on page 14 page 15 uh, another two numbers 29 they're also on board number four, num uh, bottom right here within the large circle 46. And so you can either push the parts out or the blocks. Well, we need to get the blocks out anyway. So I'm gonna push it out. And uh, step number one, we put the 29s onto the ends of 28 here, the free ends. All right, so we're done with that subassembly. Gonna put it on the side. The next one is we take that long piece and we put number 33 and we clean off toothpicks here. Uh, I'm gonna put part number 33 through that subassembly of 227s. Part number 33 is on board number five. And it's uh, at the top here, ab above the middle line to the left of the center line a little bit. And that goes through and all the way to the end. I guess that's why we needed to send. Let's see if there's a directionality. 
Now it should be square. So the two, yeah, there is a directionality. So the holes, the square little holes should be on the burned edge. And then you push it through. So if it doesn't go through, there are toothpicks that are preventing it from going further. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it the side with the toothpick also to make sure it's nice and flat. So now all the sides are sanded. And I'm gonna put a little bit of a wax on M2 to get that part all the way in. Kind of give it a slide. So now it should go down easier and you push it all the way down to that edge here. So it's going to sit against that uh, little tabs on the end of the 27s. And then the step number three, you insert the sub assembly that we completed in step number one from the outside edge into these holes. One side is done. the second side. So now that uh, sub assembly is on the end and uh, we're done with step number four that's gonna be our part 3a and now with the larger assembly with these little rocket looking thing on the bottom that sub assembly goes all the way in through the first hole Uh, let's see if there's any specific directionality. It doesn't look like it. Then you line it up with the second hole. Might, might want to rotate it a little bit. Well, not might, but need to rotate it. Moving on to the page number 16. And that goes all the way in. Good thing we waxed it and uh, sanded it. Uh, let's see how far I think the top portion needs to line up with this. Uh, with these two pieces here, so looks like about that distance could probably go further so like I guess at this point of time I'm gonna leave it uh, so that edge lines up with the holes here I'm gonna move, it up, move it up a little bit so with the little cutouts on these long legs uh, or the end of tabs, so that's where I left that uh, long uh, part lined up with. And we're gonna put it on the side for now. Next, uh, step number one on uh, page 16, we need toothpicks split in half three times. So, three toothpicks have some parts left over here. Let's see, yeah, so we can use these because they're not uh, they're long enough to be used, and we need six two three four five six uh so part number 34 that's on board number three uh, let's see 
and that's right here on the, in the middle to the right. So we take that full circle out. And uh, let's see, we're going to need another part from here. Um, and we need to take these internal parts out. So I'm pushing it from the other side to make sure that I don't uh, peel the white fibers from the part number 34. So I'm going to take these 53s out. I'm going to put them on the side, not to forget where they're at. There is a spare 53, 153, a set of two spare ones. So pushing all these out so they're not on the way. And then the centerpiece, these are all additional parts, looks like it. Number 37 and five. All right, so we have that uh, part number 34 nice and clear. And then it, uh, the toothpicks go through the these four holes that are innermost and then the two holes right next to the smaller holes here. We keep, uh, Keep these open for now. That's the next step. So innermost holes, six innermost holes for the toothpicks. That's the ones that we're using at this point of time. And next step, uh, number two is we need to get part number 35, which is on board number three. And let's see, that's the one 35, that's the larger circle right here. So there's a 44 inside and there's some parts number 39. So we take the I'm gonna take 39s out, separate them, and then the other the other circle that's the number 44. So I'm also gonna put it on the side with that outer piece to make sure that we know what part number it is. And now we put the 35 over that uh, part number 34, over the toothpicks, all the way up to the surface, and we cut off these toothpicks. Our next step, we need four more toothpicks. Cut in half. One, two, three, four. And these gonna go on the outermost holes of part number 34. Oop, broke one. So I broken two already it's okay i'm gonna replace them like i said i just need enough length to put another part through it so should be good with a smaller size and all eight go in here and then we need part 36 for the next step Off of board uh, number four. So I'll need to wax on the outside and I'm gonna use the sandpaper to clean the outside of this connection points, little bridges. And we need to wax the outside of that uh, part. I guess in that case, the wax provided with the model would be 
better because it's a smaller piece. And then we need uh, part number 36 on board number four, not 30, uh, 36, that's the circle right here, big gear. Take out the interior pieces and we need to clean up the birds and little edges here. And then it's, uh, let's see, probably not going to work with that uh, wax. So I'm going to use the wax provided in this case, just because I can't stick the gears into this one. Although if I squeeze it a little bit, maybe I could, no? Oh yeah. So. Let's see. And then that part gets over the uh, toothpicks, the eight toothpicks that we have here. And then you need to try to push it simultaneously so you don't break the part. Little by little. that part all the way in. All right, now it's sitting nice and tight. I'll just double check, make sure that it's all the way down to the surface and then we can snap off the toothpicks uh, per step number six. So the part that's completely on and we're done with uh, page number 16. Moving on to the page number 17. And then once again, it shows to wax these, uh, actually maybe this surface on the top. And so here I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, sandpaper to the toothpicks. We did already send the, um, If we need, but just in case, I'm gonna wax it here. All right, I'm gonna put it on the side now. Uh, step number two we need part number 38, which is on board number three. So, and uh, this is a large piece right at the top here. So once again, push the part out and then get on from the opposite direction, push the, all these internal parts. 
from that piece. Put it on the side, and now we need uh, parts number 37. Uh, let's see, those are not additional, but uh, they're on one of the circles that we pulled out. We're on the board number three, right at the middle here. So there's uh, additional part number five, but 37s are not. So those are the ones that we need to use. So the five additional I'm going to put on the side and then push these uh, all of these 37s out. Should be eight of them. Grab the tool, but looks like I'm not going to need it. And just separate the parts. And these go into, let's see, all the rectangular holes that are around. There's eight holes. And let's see with the slots, kind of like facing towards the center. Of the circle. So we're leaving the holes, these outside holes, they're more rectangular. We're leaving them empty. All right, and our next step is uh, six toothpicks. <clears throat> Cut in half. close to half <laughs> and then push these toothpicks from the bottom towards the top of part number 38 through the eight holes that are there and we are doing all eight, all the holes, or not, not eight, looks like 12. And once again, make sure you hold the part right next to where you're pushing the toothpicks. If you're gonna push it, uh, hold it elsewhere, probably gonna break when you apply the pressure. Mm, toothpick broke, should be okay. Let's see, maybe I'll just do another one. Um, you're probably gonna need a little bit longer than that. So I'm gonna do the one that I Cut in correctly, the ones that's sh shorter. The one that broke. Uh, let's see, we should be fine. Okay, uh, so next step, uh, number four, we need parts number two. And they all at the top, top of the board number one. Uh, let's see, we need 12. So there's uh, three sets of four. I'm going to use the tool to push these out. And 
as these are serving as bearings, we need to sand and wax every single one of them. So the I'm just applying a little bit of a precision file on the connection points or bridges. Then we need to go and do it on all 12 of them. more than 12 yeah pulled 16 out so four four went a little overboard <laughs> but we're gonna use the other ones anyway at some point of time so I'm just gonna leave them on the side and one more I was wondering why I have more than needed here. I'm gonna put these on the side so I don't lose them. And uh, let's see, we need to wax all of them. And put them onto the toothpicks. Let's see, after we do that, our next step is uh, need parts number 39. So those parts are also on board number three. We're gonna get to them in a second. There's an exclamation point. All right, so uh, missing one. One, two, three. Toothpick. So we had an extra one here. All right, uh, we're done with the step number four. Step number five, we need three, uh, four parts, number 49. They are on board number, uh, let's see, three. And they were within this circle here. Uh, so I'm gonna dig into my uh, parts here. There's four, uh, five actually, one is spare. So there's a thin portion and that thin portion should be going towards the top. So uh, let's pull out all four. And we do uh, the thin, thin portion is going to go towards the top, like the way the toothpicks are facing. So you just put it onto inside of these tabs of part number 38, all four of them.
All right, and then we put a little bit of ply wax on the top of them. All right, I'm gonna use the toothpick to remove some excess. All right, and then uh, we use that uh, sub-assembly that we finished in the step number one. I'm gonna put it through on top. Let's see. And let's see what it needs to be lining up with. Oh, it just goes inside. So it's not lining up with anything. It just goes right inside there. So you'll be able to spin it like this. And then moving on to the page number 18, we put up part number 40, which is on board number three on the bottom here. Board number three on the bottom, part number 40, long piece or large piece. Take the internal parts out. Put them on the side. And then that piece goes over that sub-assembly. Let's see. So there's uh, these two holes on each side that will go into these little tabs, number 38s or 39s, whatever, 37s. Uh, let's see, and there's one long one. We need to see if there is a special way that we need to face it. So, uh, this one's symmetrical, so it doesn't matter at this point of time. So we can face it any direction. Right. There's exclamation point. So what are we looking for? nothing at this point of time I don't see anything all right and now push these little by little onto the toothpicks until these tabs, right? Which we're gonna need to get aligned. And start pushing the part through them too. Also, you might want to put a little bit of a wax on these little tabs 37. Uh, it might help to push them through a little better. All right, I'm just aligning, making sure it fits nice and perfect in there. All right, I think. Got them all in now. Uh, let's see, and now I need to push the toothpicks out. Some of them protruded. So I'm just gonna use the tool to get them in. Flat with the surface. If 
you can't, you might just break it off from that end too. They look, they popped out on all, almost all of them. toothpicks and uh, let's see now we just uh, step number two we'll just chop them off so I pre-cut and just snap it off Next step is uh, part number 43, uh, which was on, uh, let's see, so we're gonna put it on the side. Step number three, part number 43 is inside one of the circles that was on board number three. It was at the top here. So it's right here, that little big piece. So I'm gonna push it out and push the internal part from it and we need uh, part number 41 uh, nine of them and that one's located on board number three on the bottom it was inside here so it's one of the uh, circles right here so 40 once there's two actually let's see no that's a Additional or not additional? I apologize. They're on board number two. Let's see, board number two, the whole block here on the bottom left. Uh, let's see, and we need nine of these, right? So I'm just gonna use the tool or not use it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, uh, let's see, put that part back in so I don't lose it. So we need to send it and wax all nine of them. see and then uh, wax them make sure you apply good amount of wax on there to help uh, the operation a little bit to reduce the friction uh, let's see five Done with all the nine. 
pieces. So it looks like uh, we were flying in the beginning with the pages. And now we're like slowed down significantly because of all these small pieces. And so now these uh, 41s, square holes in there. They'll go on to these tabs of part number 43. And you push them all the way in. So I'm just leveraging and putting one on. Leveraging against the table and push it in. And now our number eight. Uh, done with that part. And then we need to, uh, step number four, nine parts, 42. And 42 are on board number three, bottom left, where I showed originally. So it's going to be right here. Uh, there's nine pieces here of 42. So and we do pretty much the same exercises with 41. We send them. Uh, and once again, I mean, I, I don't think you need to re like send it all around. I usually do just the connection points because those are the ones that are going to give the most trouble. And so and they're usually visible like a line across normally two of them. Sometimes one, sometimes more. So I just rotate it around and see. I'll take out that connection. And same thing, we need to wax these on the outside. Same as with the uh, 41s. smaller parts so it's harder to apply the wax to these gears are much easier And these go over number 42, uh, 40 ones. So I'm done waxing, so I just put them over 41. Just like that. And we put that on the side for now. And now our next step, we need five toothpicks. Uh, actually, we have plenty here pre-cut already. So we need part number 44, which was inside board number three. It was inside here. Uh, so it's uh, this part that we took out earlier. And then we need, uh, let's see, send the connection points. of them and put a little bit of a wax on the outside All right. 
right, then now the toothpicks. I'm sele selecting the longer leftovers. I mean, I don't think you need to conserve them, but uh, I just, rather than using more, I'm gonna use existing. All right, so in the next step, number six, we just apply wax to these toothpicks. My hands are already in wax, so it's fairly easy for me to do. Now that's gonna go, that part's gonna go step number seven into the 43, into all these little holes here to look. is in place, I guess. So once again, a little bit at a time. And as we get it thin, uh, let's see. Part number forty-two. All right, so it go. It's gonna go in. Forty-two has to sit completely flat. And that's up assembly with the toothpicks. It's gonna go all the way flat against these tabs. So I just need to make sure that it passes the 42. Forty two sits flat against the back wall there. Let's see, 44, push it in. All around, make sure it sits flat. All right, so we're done. And then the next step is to snap off these toothpicks. So I'm pre cut them. Take it out. Pre cut. Take it out.
Alrighty, uh, so I make sure that all the 42s are moving there. Uh, we're done with that subassembly, page 18. Moving on to the page number 19, uh, we need parts number 45. So all, uh, all of them are on board number one. There's uh, to the right here, there's four of them on the right side of the board. off and get these out just easier that way and there's some connection points at the center here so you want to remove them with a little bit of ascending. And then put a little bit of a wax too. As instructed, as we're going to be sliding these parts through the sub assembly. All right, so these go, we take that uh, sub assembly from previous pages with the gear facing downward. We insert the 45s through the top here and we push it in. That's the reason why we waxed it. So we push it in all the way in until the tabs. There we go. Into the four corners. Can I use helping tool to press on it? Give me a little bit more leverage. Just hold the part so you don't break it. And snap it in. Just like that. Uh, then step number two, we turn it upside down. So with these tabs here, uh, the sub assembly that we just did, we put it right in the middle here with the tabs facing up. So it goes right in here, make sure there is operation. So this rotates inside, and these rotate too. And the next step is we cover it all with part number 46, which is on board number four. In the bottom right here, so that's this part right here. And take it out, take uh, 53 and 148 out. These little parts and let's see so there's that hole opening that's where the flat portion is gonna go uh, and face that uh, opening or like a little hole like that and let's see the internal portion moves so we need step number six we need to check that there is rotation on the axis the smoother the location uh, rotation the better it is so you might want to play with it a little bit.
so it's, there's no stopping anywhere, so it's nice and smooth. All right, next step number seven, we need parts number 48 and 47. They were also on board number four within this circle right here. So I'm gonna put that, uh, pull it up. So 47 is right here in one of them. And 48 is right next to it. And then uh, let's see, there's a uh, that T shape on one side. I guess it wouldn't matter which way. Um, You put it in. So I'm just insert 48 into it. Make sure it's nice and flat. There is no space in between. And then that piece goes into the opening right here uh, in the subassembly that we just did. Let's see from this, not from the inside, but from the outside. Let's see. So we might want to apply little bit sending definitely to get out get the connection points out there's a little tab on uh, part number 47 so don't don't remove that tab with sending and that goes, uh, let's see, we might squeeze it a little bit. Push it in and push it all the way down until it hits the tab, the T-tab. And that's our subassembly B1. Uh, next page, number 20. I'm going to put that aside. Uh, step number one, we need uh, parts number 49 and 50 they are on board number four to the right here a little bit above the middle all the way on the right of the board and now that one gets inserted so with the t facing away from you so the the longer tab is going to go towards the hole that is next to the t Once again, no space, all the way in. Okay, and then we need, once again, a little sending. And all the parts and a little bit of a wax. On the, all the edges. All right, and then uh, part number 51, also on board number four, right in the, a little bit to the right of the center line in the middle here. And that one goes, uh, let's see, same thing, T on the left. So we squeeze um, part number 49 a little bit to get it in. Work it in. tabs and then as soon as you get past them they should get there pretty easy 
not too far though. We don't need to go all the way in. So it's supposed to actually, let's see. Mm. Let's see, put number 52. So I'm gonna push it back a little bit. Uh, 52 on, which is also on board number four. Put it over. Work it in. And then we work that one in up until it's flat. The part number 50 is flat there. With the surface is 52. And then we lock it up with number 53. And then part number 53 it's going to be on board number four. It was within the circle here, uh, right here, the little part right next to 148. So I'm going to pull that one out. And uh, with the flat point uh, towards the part number 52, with a little round off. Going down, let's see, that should be from the side uh, of the part number 50. Push it down. And I'm going to use the tool to squeeze it in. until I guess it starts showing up on the other side and you pass the hole. Give it a little room, maybe as far as, far as you can push it in. Uh, so it's uh, not covering the hole from either side. All right, so number 51 is against it now. Uh, and the next step, that was five. Number six uh, is uh, part number 54, and we need four of them. They're all on board number five. In the top right corner here, or right at the center. So four parts number 54. There is a side with the slot and side without the slot. So the one with the slot, they go into the, let's see, four top holes. One, two, three, four. That's where the side of part number 50. like that and the next step is part number 55 which is on the same board a little bit longer on the right corner here these go with the short tabs with the slot into the bottom four holes Right. Next step, we need a rubber band, the long one, a uh, thin one. Just twist it, twist it, and make double it, just like this. So, and one twist, bring it over and double it. That's step number eight. Moving on to the page number twenty-one, then we need part number fifty-six, which is on board number four. bottom left here and then within that it's part number 152 so we need to pull it out and make sure that we don't forget where it was I'm gonna put it on the side so on that uh, there's like a little tab on here you put that rubber band through the tab
or through that hole over the tab. Now, uh, let's see, probably gonna need some tool to push it in. I'm using my uh, precision file, but uh, you can use probably toothpick or something. Make sure it's still doubled and doesn't unwind. I'm gonna try toothpick. much much better uh, let's see so double split it open and set it on that little tab just like that that's number two complete and then number three step we put that over so the rubber band should be on the top here and we put it over the same tabs here that we just inserted let's see so that should face the top we line up the tabs 55s into the four bottom holes we line them up first because they're taller and then the four top holes get the uh, Part number 54. Just line them up with the holes, squeeze it in, and push it all the way in. All right. Now, next step, uh, we need parts number 57, which are on board number five. So these are sitting all the way in. Um, board number five, top right corner. So 57s, we just need four of them for next two steps. Separate them. Move away that part 51, I think, from the hole. And let's see. These, we need to send the sides. Probably some paper is going to be easier. And Put a little bit of a wax on them. them through and uh, let's see so uh, these go inside there's like four holes so it needs to go through that hole and into the part that is on the back here into its hole rectangular hole and push it in see okay so there need to go let's see top the two holes on the sides left and right these gonna go into the um, the burned edges up and down and it should slide right in And 
and then the top and the bottom hole burnt edges so it's sitting all the way into the hole so the top and bottom holes they're going to be sideways to the left and right Now we push that part in so these stick out and then part number 58 to lock it which is on board number four right to the left of the center line in the middle here and then we lock it on these little tabs Hard to align them. Going to try to. Aligned, push them on and set them in inside the circle. All right, step number, oh, page number 22. Uh, step number one. So this should sit, I guess, somewhat inside that a little bit, not all the way in. And then the next step is part number 59, which is on board number four. It's on the right here, this in the middle, to the right of the center line. And we need to wax these little round ends. And that goes over these four tabs. Just like that next step is we need three rubber bands so we'll pull part number 60 out which is on the on the right little below the middle on board number four and take uh three rubber bands thin ones and let's see and we push them through the holes so your gear is facing you you push it through the hole kind of also doubling up as we did with the other one so maybe just easier to do the same way as I did before just use the toothpick and push it out push it through push it through the hole and then once again your gears facing you so that's the end that we tie it up and split it around the tab and pull it all the way in so we need three on these three little tabs double it double it Line up with the hole, push with the toothpick. Do one first and then the second one, line up with the hole. Push 
push that in. Split it up, pull it over the tab. Pull it nice and tight. And the last one, once again, double it up. Line up with a hole. The rubber band through over the tab and tie it up and we're done with steps number four five six and seven moving on to the page number 23 uh, let's see and uh, we need a paper clip I had one somewhere, but I'm not sure what I did with it. I guess the paper clip would have been useful all the way from the beginning. Oh, it comes with a model. I forgot about it altogether. So inside the box, there should be a little paper clip in a plastic bag. You open it up. And now uh, let's see. And then one end, make a little hook. We take that uh, little sub assembly with the toothpick through. We push that paper clip through the hole and grab onto the corresponding rubber bands next to that hole and push those rubber bands through. Let's see, and we do with uh, all three. So one on the bottom, hook the rubber bands on the bottom of that little part 60, pull it back in, or pull it through the hole, and then, uh, all right, and then the third one, do the same thing. and pull it through the hole just like that then we pull the rubber bands out and snap <coughs> part 60 onto the tabs here and then we push the rubber bands or pull the rubber bands and put them on the tabs of the part 51, if I remember correctly. So as you pull them, they're stretch. Let's see, we do all four of them. Yes. As you pull them, they stretch and you can hook them, bring them around and hook it onto that part. That. One more. All right, so all four rubber bands are now hooked. Going on to the page number 24. And let's see, part number 61, which is on board number four, right below that uh, part number 36. 
a little above the middle to the left of the center line. So on that part number 61, we need to wax inside these uh, little grooves. And that snaps over onto the inside of the part. 59 just like that and now b2 step number two is ready uh, next step let's see I'm gonna put that aside back into the box um, step number three we need Part number 62 on board number eight. So it's our very last board. Part 62 right here on the right hand side. Long. So careful pushing it out. Break the connection points and then push it to make sure it doesn't snap. Then we need uh, part number 41 on two sides. So 41 that was on the board number, uh, let's see. Where did we have it on board number two? The bottom left, we just need two for now. Uh, we need to send it. And I would put a little bit of a wax on them which is next step, but in step number four. But I would put the wax right away. It's just gonna be a little bit easier. Now these get inserted from both sides of part number 62, all the way to these little tabs. They don't go too easy you might want to just a couple slices a couple slides of sandpaper and 262 and then it should go right in all the way to the tabs same thing on both sides Right. And then uh, part number 63 and 64, they're both on board number two. Board number two, 64 is right in the middle here to the right of the center line and 63 is right below. So 63 is gonna go on the longer end side over that number 41. And then 64 is gonna go on the short end side. Next step is uh, part number 65 and 66. Both of those are, well, one is on board number two. So part number 65 is on board number two, right in between 63 and 64. So we'll take that one out. We'll put a little bit of a wax on that. And then that's gonna go on the remove excess maybe. That's going to go on the longer end. And then let's see all the way, they're just on the edge, on the end here. So you don't need to push it all the way in. And then on the short end, I'm going to go part 66, which is on board number four. And it's in the top right corner here. Same thing, a little bit of a wax.
one is going to go on the other end. And that's, uh, let's see, once again, you don't need to push it all the way in, just on the ends, uh, as long as that uh, part sticks out a little bit here. And then we need part number 68 and 67, they're on board number four. So 67 and 68 long pieces here to the left. And that's gonna go, let's see, 68. There's a T, not nice T, not that there's like a, on the other side, there's like a little wavy piece. So with the longer part or longer tab of part number 68 goes closer to the regular T. So we're gonna push a bit through. Snap it until it's all the way in. And the surface is flush. And then uh, the end with that little round off piece, that's gonna go on the side of 65 gear. So, and we insert these little parts through the tabs or through the holes here. One side and the other side, uh, let's see, that's gonna go with the shorter piece. Make sure these are over the 41, so they're gonna line up nice and easy. So that long tab is on the, facing the bottom and make sure it rotates. We're good, that's our B3. And then uh, we take our B1, that's step number four. We take our B2 and we insert, there's like a little hole. So we got flat piece and a tab facing that way. So that little uh, tab goes into the hole right here. Nice and simple. And then uh, B3, the one that we just created, that goes with this tab into the hole on the opposite end, right here. While this one goes into the hole right here. So and then you have the gears, need to rotate it a little bit to mesh it up. And squeeze it in completely. So it sits nice and flat. And then when you spin this bottom portion, that uh, this little rod spins too, just like that. And we're moving on to the page number 26. And here we take part number 69 and step number one, which is on board number three. it's right at the center here and we'll, need, we'll pull out the second one too in the meantime it's a top right here or you can put the additional one or spare component and then we'll need part number 70 which is on uh, board number three also it was right here so it's one of the parts that's gonna be here in our set, so let's see. Where? So it says U gears on there. It's next to the 42s. So uh, first, put a little bit of wax on the tabs here, part number 69, and put it on the side of this big drum counterweight. Slide it all the way in till it sits nice and flat. And our next step is also we wax the 69 tabs. We put uh, 
U gears, the little mark. Uh, let's see if it's facing this way. So U gears gonna face you, which doesn't really matter in this point. But uh, so you insert it into the 69, and then you insert it into the other 69, kind of under the angle a little bit, push it in. And then you put the 69 through the tabs there, or through the holes. And snap it in all the way in. Make sure it sits, everything still operates. So it's gonna hold these two parts together. And we're moving on to the step number four. So, uh, which is done. Uh, step number five, we need four number 11s. And those are on board number two, uh, to the right or to the left. Just to pull the ones on the left, which doesn't matter. I'm gonna use the tool to help me get these out. And we turn this portion upside down and we insert these into these holes, four holes, right next to the round holes. Four rectangular. So four right here. We're done with page number 26, moving on to the page number 27. And uh, we need part number 71, two of them, 13. So 71 on board number two, and two of them are right here. And then part number 13, we had them out. Uh, let's see. They're a little rectangular piece here, so we just need two for now. And part number 14, which is also on board number two, right at the center here at the top. Um, remember we need to send these number 13s just to remove the connection points. Get them inside the 71s fork. Wax them up. And put number 14s through these. Next step, we take these and insert into the holes, locking them up, the number 11s, push them in. Just like last time all the way in and then make sure that piece rotates nice and easy same thing here on both sides the same thing all the way in and just work it in to make sure it rotates nice and smooth on both ends and that's uh completes our step number four we get ourselves a part b and we're moving on to page number 28. Okay, next step is one. I'm gonna put that on the side. Uh, we need part number 73 and 13. Uh, their part number 73 is a, on the right hand side, right in the middle here of board number two. So 
we'll just pull these out push these out the part number 13 is in that block from board number one there's two left those are the last ones uh, same thing uh, send them down all the connection points and both of these put them on to the number 73 all the way in wax them up both of these and part number 14 over it which is also on board number two in the top uh, center here and we put those through here you kind of looked forward a little bit and do the two of them at the same time rather than waiting next uh, we need part number uh, let's see 74 it's right in the middle here of board number two so just pull the number up pull, push the part out turn it around push the inside pieces out put them on the side so now uh, we need parts number 11 which is also on the board number two to the top right corner that's the ones that i have left you might have the ones left on the top left corner so whichever ones you want to use or left to use so these are and then we're looking at the uh, caution writing on here so that should be facing you and that's the exclamation point to make sure that you got it correct we inserted uh, the number 11 by these uh, circular holes here and two sides right where the tabs are at and then these go with the slot facing towards the opposite end or uh, and then we need the uh, next step is part number six which is on board number one uh, on the right hand side closer to the top here uh, same thing I'm gonna use the tool to push these out we need two of these for now and uh, send little connection points on here and then as you send the connections after you send the connection points uh, or bridges uh, put a little wax on the outside of these number sixes And that number six is going to go on the outside on these little tabs here of part number 74. All right, next step is to uh, put these uh, sub assemblies, little sub assemblies with number 73 in here, similar as we've done before. Push it in all the way in as far as it can go, and then work the stick the joystick make sure it's nice and smooth in there same thing on the other end as far as it can go and then just work it in so it moves nice and smooth all right so we got the movement here next we need four rubber bands all right and then those, uh, let's see, just push them through the holes uh, with the little tabs on there. Push them down. Maybe hard uh, to do it with your hand. So I just use the toothpick to push it through the hole. Grab it on the other side. Split it and pull it onto the tab so it holds off on the tab same thing pretty much for every single hole out of these four 
or instead of pushing the rubber band through the hole, whole rubber band through the hole, you can go from the other side and push smaller part in. And split it up onto the tab and have it hanging on there so whichever way you prefer to do it doesn't matter as long as you get the rubber band in the correct direction it should go facing down or the long end should be towards the bottom didn't get it through so here I'm do I'm just same thing I'm just splitting it up onto the tab and pushing it down to get to get it uh, locked in so moving on to the page number 29 uh, let's see now we take that uh, uh, tower I'm gonna put that one on the side for now we take the top portion of the assembly and uh, let's see so which way it's supposed to face that doesn't matter uh, I just need to figure out which way to put it in so it doesn't matter as far because these are symmetrical so you just put it over and there is four holes right here so that's where these tabs go into and then the center piece goes through this uh, top portion here so uh, let's see we might need to put that uh, push that further down uh, that little center um, axle but uh, there is a, a T-shape, so the T-shape on there, so that's the only way you can put it in. So just work it in. Until it's through. Then you rotate the whole sub-assembly. Make sure you don't break anything. to get these tabs in the correct position and put it push them in gonna turn it around a little bit so you guys can see what I'm lining up with the holes and kind of squeezing it in there Once again, careful where you apply the pressure. Make sure you don't do it on any like of the thinner pieces and actually apply it where it needs to be. All right, so this is a little bit crooked. We probably need to pull on the center piece a little bit to straighten it out. So this uh, goes a little bit beyond of these little tabs, uh, just like that. Our next step is parts number 18 and 72. That's a step number two. And uh, let's see, number 18, both of them are on board number one. 18 is right here. At the center, a little bit to the left of the center, at the halfway between the middle and the top, and the 72 is right in the middle to the left. So 72 is going to go on the side. This with a little uh, triangle tab. Um, like for me, I'm going to put it on the right side and the little 18 on the left side. Then we take the sub assembly from the previous page and these wording caution should be on the right hand side where the 72 is at. So uh, you push it through, I think. 
Let's go to the next page. Uh, so yes, that needs to go through. Yeah, and then 72, once again, is going on the side where the caution is. And I'm gonna insert that first. Take it out for a second. Get the 72 in, just to make it easier. Then put it back on. To hold sub assembly, make sure you push it through. Uh, get all the rubber bands cleared. Sit the number six inside the 72 and then insert 18 on the opposite end. Oops. So 72 is in, then line up the 18. Make sure it's sit sitting on the number six and push it in all the way in. Now we need to connect these joints here, same as before. And I'm gonna use the little helping tool to get them even on both sides get them uh, level, the surfaces leveled. And once we do, we just use it as a leverage and snap these two together. And we're already beyond where we're supposed to be. Well, not really, but that's a step number one on page number 30. Uh, and then we need parts number 24 and 23. So 24 are on board number one on the top here. And we need, uh, let's see, four of them. So one, two, three and four and then we need parts number 23 which is also on here one is uh, bottom middle a little bit below to the left of the center line and the other one is to the right of the center line a little bit lower on the right hand side so we need these so we align the 24 uh, 23 and then we push the 24s through it through both holes To get these rods locked in. It's one side, and here's the other side. So I push it through the 23 first, and then push it through the rod, and do the same thing. And the other side, line up and push them through. All right, so that's our sub assembly here it's done with the step number one on page 30 moving on to the page number 31 so we have our little nice tower ready all right so next step i'm gonna put the put it aside further out so it doesn't um it's not on my way uh let's see we need two toothpicks cut in half now we're on step uh, page number 31 Step number one. One, two. 
and part number 75. They're on board number two. And there's, we're going to need, if we need four of these, it's steps one, two, three. So we'll need 75s, we'll need eight. I don't see that many. They were all within this circle here, but I'm going to push out whatever we have on the board still left. I left the one, two, three. And then the rest of them were within this circle that we just recently pulled out. So three. It's right here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these. And then uh, four of number two, which is on board number one, top left corner here. So just four of these, and uh, I'm gonna separate them for now, send them. Send the connection points. Uh, once again, these are, it looks like a cylindrical bearings and uh, there's gonna be some movement there. So I'm gonna wax it too. Apply some wax. all four little number twos all right and then now we can do the toothpicks so we push it through 175 or part number 75 all the way in until your toothpick is flat with the surface my fingers are a little lubricated put the number two over and then same direction, another 75, just over it. So I think, uh, let's see, we're going to do all three or four, all four first. Make sure you line them up there, same, same direction facing the same direction And now we can cut out the uh, extra toothpicks here. Or pre-cut them and snap them off. Whichever is uh, more comfortable for you. All right. And the next step, we're down on uh, step number four. We need the piece from the bottom right corner here. And it's a little large piece, uh, number, what is it, 76. I already had it pulled out sooner. So here it's, it, it says uh, adjustments wash plate. And that uh, should be upside down facing. So it's going to be uh, facing down towards the table. And we insert these four units uh, from that side. So the first one's gonna go on the left-hand side. There's two uh, two holes right here, rectangular. First one's, if you go along the edge here on the left, 
my left uh should be your left too and then the little round piece is facing away from you so it goes into the first hole here all the way in yeah, we're gonna insert them later step number five uh next set of holes with the round pieces facing towards left kind of towards you and left if you're gonna go around and a little bit in there is another set of holes here too it's uh, next to the brown hole so that's the second set the third set's gonna go on the opposite end of these ones uh, also two sets facing to the right now the round pieces and then the last set is these two holes it's the first holes set on the hole, holes from the writing going right and then the uh, round off pieces going away from you just like that now I'm just lift it up and insert it all the way in and we're done with step number five next one is step number six we need part, part number 77 they were on board number two right here inside uh, so they're left on our side there's two right here and we need a total of four of them and two here so I just push those out I would uh, send the sides here from the connection points just to make sure you'll be able to insert the two components on there there's one two connection points on one side and one connection point on the other side might be different in your case uh, parts number 78 and 79 so let's see 79 we're on inside right here and we need four of them one two three four and then parts number 78 there's two right here on the bottom right corner of board number two and two in the top left corner of board number two and uh, so you have the 78 goes in first you might need to work the part a little bit but there's tabs on part number 77 and push it all the way down to the end same thing with the 79 work it in and push it all the way to the end we repeat that process four times So 78 first, little gear. And then 79, top of it. All the way in. And the last. All the way in all right we're done with page number 31 moving on to the page number 32 all right so the first one take the same board that we just did we flip it upside down the writing is on the left hand side and this uh, 
first one's going to go through the um, hole that is by letter A. So we put, put it in. Then we flip it upside down in step number two. Take part number 80, which is on board number two on the bottom here, four of them. We'll need all, all four, so I'm gonna take these out right away. And then we need to apply a little bit of a wax on these. So I'm gonna apply it. I'm gonna go step by step. I'm not gonna apply all of them at this time. So as we turn it upside down, wouldn't matter, I guess, they showed putting it into one, but then once you turn it upside down, they show it on a different one. It wouldn't matter because the same parts go four times. So, uh, so part number 80 goes over 78 and then you push it in all the way into the hole. So you need to rotate it a little bit to get it in between these little two teeth. And then once you do, just fit it in and make sure you got uh, no spacing in between. Uh, then after we're done with that, we put in part number 79. Uh, let's see, 79, that's the one that we had on the inside right here into this hole. Uh, there's five, uh, four more left and plus one additional, one extra. So I'm gonna push these out also right now. So insert 79 over it. Uh, next step is 241s, part number 41. And there's a left corner here, bottom left corner on board number two. Insert these now. All the way in. And over the top, we insert part number one, also on board number two. Uh, there's two right here in the center, two, uh, two in the center at the top, and a little bit above the middle to the right. So take any one of those. And then let's see, it wouldn't matter which direction it goes or does it? Uh, let's see. So that particular one, the one building, that's a number two. So and the little T goes, that's gonna be on the right hand side, I guess, if they're facing you. And then make sure there is a rotation that they go both directions and fairly easy. That's, we're done with the step number six. So uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other three. So we need more 81s. I'll pull, push all three of them. And we need 41s, we need six more. five and a six all right so uh, same thing so these little tab T tabs gonna be on the right hand side all the time once again a little bit of a wax on part number 80 on the outside of it Hmm. 
little rotation to get it in. Then we do 79. Just fill, fill out on the other side. 241s. Then 81 with the T on a counterclockwise side. So like if you little tab at one, then your T is gonna be at 12, just like that. Same thing, we check the rotation, make sure it's rotating nice and easy. And we repeat for the other two holes here on the opposite side. Two forty ones did seventy nine, two forty ones, and same location for the T. And part number 81, check the rotation. And the last one on page number 32. Two forty ones. And then an eighty one. Okay. And same thing, check, check the rotation. Once, once it starts rotating, it should be fairly easy to rotate it, but you should feel a little bit of a resistance anyway. All right, we're done with page number 32. Page number 33, uh, we need part number 82 on board number four. Top right corner here. And we need three of them. Okay, and so that uh, little part, we still have it upside down. And then the first 82 goes into these two holes, the ones that uh, from the writing, first two holes to the left. All the way in. And then the second is gonna go on the opposite corner right here. A little bit diagonal from the one that you just inserted. All the way in. And then the third one's gonna go diagonal to the right, these two holes right here. That's our part number C, step number three is complete. And then that one, we take the tower, flip it upside down. Caution writing should be on the left. And then uh, that C we insert through with the, uh, this writing on the right hand side. All right, and then we kind of move the rubber bands to the side so they're not on the way and not wrapped about around anything. And then this part's gonna go so the 
um, the center P is going to go through that large hole. And these three, uh, there is one, two, three uh, connections on here. So let's see to make sure that I got it right. Yeah, so the cautions on the left, then we have this little tab here. Turn it around, let's turn it sideways. So cautions right here, then you got one rod here, then your second rod. So your wording is going to be like towards your middle rod here. So as of right now, I'm just going to get this in the rectangular holes. Just start it up and move on to page number 34 to see what's going to be my next step. And I need to push it all the way down. Through these holes. Let's see. Let me wiggle them around a little bit. They need to go all the way through. So they stick out. So we need a little bit of adjustments here. Start it up. Because they're not exactly into the opening so you need to play with them a little bit and as I push it in make sure you once again level yourself against the parts that are actually strong enough to level so you don't break anything off slowly squeezing side by side to get it to get them on and then there's like more tabs they should go into the other holes rectangular holes right here so make sure you don't get the um, rubber bands on the way let's see I'm not gonna I might break that U gears but uh, guys can see pushing a little bit at a time to get all the sides in all the way up to the tabs there and make sure the rubber bands are still on the side so now the tabs are coming going into the holes need to line those Turn it around a little bit hopefully you can see it clearer and i'm gonna push it in to start those in turn it sideways a little bit next one and i break one off it off it just fell off didn't have it stuck in there easy just like that next one over that was the one that you put it one over the other one 
so it kind of looked like it did snap off but there's still pieces left so enough to hold it in place there all right so now i got all three sides in two sides one popped out those in until they all the way in and there is no open space in between all right we're done with that part now we need to go with our little tool oh, let's see so the writing is right here adjustment and caution is on the right hand side uh, let's see what's our next step step number one we go with the rubber band okay so we go through the hole that is right next to that little um, um, part number whatever 79 I think no, 75s so the, the little hole right here we go with our little tool made out of the paper clip and grab onto the rubber band come back in and put it over the little tab let's see I'm gonna rotate it a little bit put it through that number two and which way counterclockwise right uh, so I'm gonna rotate it a little bit holding it upside down I'm gonna put the rubber band over the little T on part 81 and I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise Until it catches on and grabs onto the rubber band and then probably one loop so it's a little bit of a strain, a strain on there a little bit pull on the rubber band then I'm gonna go with the second hole and do the same thing put it on a little T And then do one turn for now, full revolution to get it a little bit of a pull on there. Let's see, third one. That one, same thing. Go right around, put it on the T, and turn it counterclockwise so it's still on the T, and then pulling onto the rubber band, and the last fourth one through the hole, pull it out. Wrap it around onto the T and turn it sideways, counterclockwise. All right, four times we'll complete page number 34. Moving on to the page number 35. Put that sub assembly aside. your little paper clip in a back in a box just in case and now we need part number 83 which is on board number three uh, let's see four of them so one on the bottom here one to the left and a little bit above the middle and two to the right one is all the way on the top right 
and parts number three, which are on board number one. We need 16 of those, right? Four on each. Oh no, four toothpicks, wait. We just need two of those. All right, uh, screw it up, it's four toothpicks. So we need eight. Uh, for now, we'll start with the first one. So not to get confused, not co to confuse you. So we're gonna do 183 for now, four parts number three, top right, uh, top cor uh, left corner here, uh, board number one. All right, my board fell out, so I'm gonna take the board out. Work these in and out a little bit. One, two, three. four put a number three on the side and then these go into the little rectangular holes next step push them all the way in next step is we need four toothpicks cut in half that's the step that messed me up a little bit and uh, all right um happens two three four and then we insert the toothpicks from the opposite end our helping tool just to get them flat on that end all the way to the surface our next step is number twos uh, I had them set aside here but they on board number one I have four of them set on the side from one of the previous steps once again, I'm going to send it a little bit and apply a little bit of a wax on every single one of them. Probably didn't need the wax where it was uh, used in the previous step with the rubber band, but... Alright, and then wax. And now for we go on to the toothpicks. Then we put number 84, which is on board number four, top right corner. Two of them here. So we put one out right now. Put it over. Sub assembly. And then we take one part number six, which is on board number one. Right here in the top right, just one, uh, send, wax, and we insert that one in between the toothpicks there in between part number two, sandwich right at the center. right all right you need to kind of try to get it flat in there and then pull the toothpicks a little bit to the side here we go to get it in so it's going to be in between number two's sitting right at the center 
and then we cover it off with the second 83. So push it through the toothpicks. Pushing it against the table, and then they need to go on to the number three. Need to make sure that all of them are lining up. Wait. they do should be able to squeeze those in I use the tool a little bit for adjustments all right and push it all the way in until they're sticking out a little bit and we're done so that center if you hold by part number 84 you're just gonna easily rotate, make sure it does. And now we cut off, actually push the toothpick further in. Double check the rotation again, and then snap off the toothpicks. And repeat. One more time. So 83, number threes, four of them. Into the 83. So we repeat the same procedure. I know in some of the assembly, uh, my hands are covering what I'm doing, but uh, it's just easier for me to do against the table. Uh, also, if I'll show you everything, it'd be very easy, wouldn't it? Not just kidding, of course, but uh, I'm trying to show as much as I can, but unfortunately there's a certain situation where I do need to kind of cover it with my hands and I don't have any other camera angles. Uh, honestly, I don't really have time to edit the videos either. So the only editing that you will see on there is me uh, because I'm assembling it uh, over the course of a few days. You'll see me um, just uh, snapping the videos together to, in, to make it into one long video. All right, so number two is top right corner. We'll need a one six. I'll pull that one out too right away. We'll send and wax all of them. wax on all these round pieces, cylindrical pieces. And I'm gonna put number twos right away onto the um, toothpicks. So I don't lose them. And then next step is uh, part number 84, top right corner of board number four. 
goes over and then part number six right inside there in the middle And wiggle it in, I guess, oh, to get it inside. Now I need to make sure that I don't take it out. And then cover it up with another 83. All right, uh, push the toothpicks back in from one end make sure there is movement and snap the toothpicks off and we're done with page number 35 Next step, uh, let's see, page number 36, step one, one toothpick, cut in half. And part number 85, and uh, board number three. Uh, bottom right corner here, two of them. And so I want to insert, uh, clean it up a little bit from the burrs. Insert the toothpicks from one end. Push it all the way in, flat with the surface, and then insert the second 85 over it. The gear should line up. Cut off the toothpicks. And wax the little gears. Just uh, cleaning it off a little bit. I might have over waxed it. All right, so uh, next step is four. We need part number 86, which is on bottom right of board number three. And it is symmetrical. And we insert that through these two sub-assemblies that we just did. Uh, let's see, there is a hole is rectangular inside there. So just fit into that hole and push it as far as it can go. Both sides. And then you see there was a little dot on part number 86. So that's the side where gear number 87 is going to go. So it was on board number three right here within that circle. Uh, and I'm going to pull it out here. It's right here. Um, 87. Don't forget to put a little bit of wax on it. Onto the gears. And that's the side that it's going to go on with the little dot on part number 86. So that's where we insert the gear as far as it can go. And then the set of gears that we just built, it's gonna go on the opposite end, also as far as it can go. So we have a little sub-assembly here. I'm done with page number 36, moving on to the page number 37. Take the tower back and then these gears, so the thicker gear is gonna go uh, let's see, here's our writing, so it's going to go onto the outside, so the thicker gear is going to go onto the outside, into right here, and there's like four holes to insert part number 87 in, so we're going to start with the inside one, line it up, and then outside one, all the way in, snap it in, make sure it still rotates, 
the tub assembly. Next step number two, we need part number 33 and 88. Uh, part number 33 is on board number two. Uh, let's see, board number two. Uh, to the left here, a little bit below the middle. We need to send the connection points. And put a little bit of our wax on that round piece. And then part number 88, which is on board number three. Below to the left, the center line below the middle here. With the two holes facing up. That goes just like that. And then that gets inserted right over this shaft. We want to make sure that when it's straight, that it, you don't push it from the other side. So that goes all the way in until flush with the surface here. And the shaft should be sitting, let's see, against the opening here, little T. I'll show you in a second. So the shaft, I don't know if you can see, the shaft should be sitting against that part number 88. So just push it down and then your circular piece number 33 is sitting within the space there, the uh, open space. And then if you rotate 88, it will rotate the top of the tower. Our next step is three, part number 89, which is also on board number three, bottom right here. And that piece is gonna go over that sub assembly that we just inserted onto these three little tabs. Kind of locking it, locking these guys in place. Make sure you align the holes. And find the leverage points to insert that ring over as far as they can go. It shouldn't go too far. Kind of liking that sub assembly in place. Check on all the sides. Done with page number 37. Moving on to the page number 38. Uh, next part is number 91 on board number three, bottom left here. And let's see, that one needs to be sanded. All the connection points. And waxed. And that's gonna go within that circle there. So over these uh, part number 88, inside that circle. Almost flush with the surface. And then uh, part number 90, which is on board number four, I uh, was in a top gear right here. That's one of the one pieces that we pulled out. So part number 90 is a large gear, which needs to be waxed. And then 
that gets inserted right over these two tabs. And that needs to go, let's see, I'm trying to find the leverage for it so I don't break anything. it needs to go fairly deep until you see the holes So I may need to readjust that plate number 88 so I can still push it through the holes of that large gear there and then push a little bit more on that gear line up the gears there also And then fit it in as far as you can so as you can see my holes are almost visible then I take the two toothpicks um, you can use the ones that you have leftovers you don't need specifically cut one and put it into that hole just to start it up uh, and take the second one put it in the other hole I'm gonna take the longer ones and then I'm gonna use my tool to push those in as far as I can, preferably until the uh, toothpick is the same thickness through that hole. so that will help to set that um, uh, wheel even further it needs to interlock with that uh, sub assembly or the gear is sub assembly here and then as you rotate that that should spin the bottom portion or top portion of the tower both directions there's a little hesitation right now because the parts are just waxed we haven't worked them in yet and now we just slice off these toothpicks on both ends so it's a little bit sticking out on each side you don't want it like too much i'm gonna pre-cut these so these toothpicks will hold that sub assembly in place so as you can see, I pre-cut it and just snap it off the excess. Just like that. And then the second one doesn't stick out too far. Oh, it's fine. A little too far, but I'm gonna push it back a little bit from that side, so it still holds it in place. All right, so here's the two toothpicks holding it in place make sure it doesn't fall out because it can't come out if the toothpicks are there that concludes our step number two on page 38 now we move on on to the page number 39 and there uh part number 82 the fourth one it's on board number four right in the middle not to the right of the center line here a little bit above the middle and that last fourth piece is going to go from the bottom. There's uh, two holes right here that are left next to the writing. I believe that's where it goes. Once again, leverage at correct location and push it all the way in. 
as far as it can go. Now turn it upside down, set it on your table, and make sure that whole sub-assembly on the top is moving, and your gear right here is moving also. Not sure if you can see it. Let me make sure. So the gear right here is moving. I'm holding by the tower, rotating the top portion. And then this guy is moving also, rotating. Work it in a little bit. And that's gonna be our sub-assembly D. On page 39, we've put it on the side. Uh, next step is page number 40. Okay, we need uh, part number 92 and 93 for step number one. Uh, they're on board number five and six. Uh, so let's see, board number five. There's a large part on the bottom here, bottom right. So we take that out. And then uh, board number six, a uh, large part right here at the top left corner. All right, part number 92 has a bunch of little stuff in the inside there. So I'm going to take all these stuff out. Uh, make sure once again, you don't lose it and you have it available to continue the assembly. parts number 107 within it so I'm pushing it from the back once again not to uh, mess up the actual part in case if it uh, peels a little bit of a um, wood because if it does if you do the other direction it will start peeling from uh, the actual part all right and we have additional part number 168 here okay and I think I saw the imperfection here in the corner so take it out all right so 92 and 93 so there is a uh, this little tab that's gonna go away and then uh, you connect it between 93 and 92. 92 is on the left, 93 is on the right. You connect with these little points right here. And push it in all the way in so it's nice and flat. And then part number 94 and step number two, that's on board number six, the long piece here. So we push that one out also. And then that one's gonna go we're gonna rotate then that one's gonna go right at the end here of part number 92. once again just start it up and push it in i'm using my tool it's a helping tool to get it flat surface uh next step we need uh thick rubber band there's three of them in my kit and we need to cut it to 15 millimeter length. So I'm just gonna slice it up to open it up. And then I got, conveniently, I got the measurement here. Uh, let's see if the measurements here would match. Yep, so each big line that's five millimeters so you can use the measuring tool to get uh, to cut it down to 15. So one, two, three. Uh, and let's see if this dimension is, no, this one's a little bit larger. So approximately 15 millimeter. So I'm gonna use my cutting board or you can use the tool to measure it up and slice it off. So we need seven. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, 
three. Four. Five. Six. And then one more rubber band. And seven. All right, I'm gonna put that on the side in case if we're gonna need it further down the assembly. And now we need 95, uh, seven parts. They're all on board number five. And they're right here, uh, right on the bottom left. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So it's gonna be hard to do that part number seven here. Uh, so you need to do one by one. So we start off, we're gonna put the our assembly here from the first two steps. Then we're gonna take the first Part number 95, you wrap the tooth, I uh, mean, not the toothpick, the uh, rubber band around it. Well, it feels like 15 millimeters a little bit too long. So I just about half, just like that. So it sticks out and then we start off with this one. And push it in. So we need to push it as far as we can. So it, the rubber band sticks out on this side. Let's see. Probably don't need that long. I'm on the millimeter side. Uh, it's a bit too long. So I'm just gonna cut let me check through the manual before I do any cutting further. All right. So I'm um, gonna cut off any that are extra pieces that or extra rubber band that I have on here so it doesn't stick out too far and I'm gonna use some of the rubber bands from these seven I'm gonna just cut them in half so we just need six more so I'm gonna use up three put these on the side and then uh, just wrap it around So it's a seven, seven and a half millimeters. And then continue, put this in. Let's see, let me come back to the page where it started. And so that one was going here. Then one right here, where the connection points are at. Uh, one, two right here, right in front of each other. this point of 93 so I'm just wrapping the rubber band around that big extension I'm putting it here and I'm gonna press them all in just in a second said so I just cut all those uh, one more right here at the corner. Then one right here at the edge of part nine, board 92. And then the last one right almost at the end of 94. I 
and then I'm gonna push it in all the way in so the rubber band sticks out on the other side. to push this piece back out because the rubber band got crooked there fell off that larger piece and this one's done All right, step number nine is completed. Moving on to the page number 41, uh, two parts 96. They're on board number four. On the left hand side here, long pieces. So careful with pull, pulling these out, pushing these out because of the, how long they are, they might break off a little bit easier. Uh, longer fragile parts. And that's, uh, let's see, with the uh, round off, those 97 pieces that I just pulled out. The 96, they are longer pieces. So 96 is on board number seven. And they're on the left side also here, right in the middle. So these are symmetrical, doesn't matter. Uh, they're gonna go right into these holes right here. So I just need to, well, not symmetrical. There's two tabs are shorter and we're gonna join these. Ports. Once again, if as you press on it, you may be pushing some of these out. So I would pull it back in, push it back in once I, when I complete it. But uh, make sure you line the tabs. Push that one out again. And then step number two is 97s that I pulled out. So the ones with the little dot on the end, the flat piece, that's going to go towards the end. And we're going to go into the not the, the third hole from the end right pushing a little bit in and make sure it sits flat and then the second piece same thing. There's a little bit of wood here until it sits flat with the surface. Then you might want to lift it up a little bit, squeeze the other side, and then uh, push on these metal tabs to get the rubber bands out. All right. Uh, next step number three, we need parts 99, which are on board number six. Top right corner. Then to the left, almost top corner. Part number 98, all the way top left corner. And we put 99s, let's see, with the 
longer or shorter, longer edge towards the hole. Yeah, the shorter is not going to work. So the longer edge towards the hole, and then that gets inserted right at the edge here of part number 94. Line up the holes. And push it in. As far as it can go, or as far as you can push it. Hopefully that's gonna be as far as it can go. Just like that. Got a little bit of rubber band stuck there. So I'm gonna push it out and pull that one back in. So now everything, uh, step number four is complete uh, and we're done with page number 41. So this goes completely flat as much as you can get it down into those holes. Uh, let's see, page number 42. I'm gonna put that aside. Um, two parts, number 100, they're on board number seven. And they would be one to the right, right in the middle here, on the right edge. And one at the center line and the bottom to the left of the center line. And then we need two pieces one on one, which are right above here, a little bit below the middle on the left to the center line. So we need two for now. for the step number one. Uh, we join the one-on-ones together. Just make sure the you cover the, uh, the shape or the same or the same direction. And then you push one-on-one through the two middle holes here. I'm gonna start off with one. Lining up with the second. Push it through the second one. They're gonna have a little bit of a play there for now. Step number two, we need part number 102, which is on also on board number seven, right at the center, a little bit above the middle here. I'm gonna use the tool to get it out. And then we need two parts, number 41. So this one's gonna go through the last hole, right at the, through the round pieces here. Kind of push it through. Then we need two parts, number 41. I had to say more than two. So we need two here and then step number three, uh, four, six, eight. And all the parts, number 41, are on board number two their bottom left here so I'm gonna kind of start them off a little bit two three four five six seven eight use the tool to push them out Let's see that one cracked a little bit so I'm gonna need an additional one there's two additional on the bottom uh, those are spare parts I'm gonna throw this one away got part of it off kind of stuck on the board here uh, let's see two four Five, six, seven, eight. 
All right, I'm gonna, there's nothing else on board number two. I'm gonna put the 41s on, uh, on the side and get rid of that board so it's not on the way anymore. And let's see, uh, so we need to wax them. So if we need to wax them, we I'd recommend also to shave off a little, the connection points. We just like a one to run with a precision file or sandpaper. All right, and uh, we need to wax them, so I'm just gonna grab wax and I'm gonna wax them all right now before putting them on as it's gonna be easier just grabbing some wax All right, and then uh, first we're still back on at step number two. So we get it through that uh, part number 102 first. On both ends. Next step, uh, number three, we get two, uh, two more on there, one on each side. doesn't stick out maybe just a little but a little sticks out on both sides and then we get one on each side of one on one So that's we're done with step number four. That's our part E1. We're gonna put it on the side. Now we need two toothpicks cut in half. Or actually, we don't need two. We have some uh, leftovers here, so I'm gonna use those. And we need two parts number 103. They're both on board number 42. Uh, 42. On board number seven. Uh, so 103 is the bottom right here and all the way at the bottom right at the center of the board. Line them up, and then one toothpick through the bottom hole here, and we cut it off, so. Moving on to the page number 43. Uh, we need 40 millimeter of rubber band. I don't know if it's if we need 40, but oh, I know why I made mistake. Uh, yeah, I know why I made a mistake because each step here that's 10 millimeters. And that's what I did in the previous cutouts. So this is actually come came out to 30. Um, dummy. Okay, it happens. A um, little late at night. <laughs> But uh, each square, it's 10 millimeters. So I went a little bit overboard and I cut it down to uh, 30 millimeters rather than 15. So I came back fixing it, cutting it in half, ended up being with a 15 millimeter on each side. So um, 40 millimeters, now I'm correct. And then that uh, one part goes right in between here. Let's see if you can just shove it in. 
you're gonna push it push it in all the way until you see that it hits the bottom there and kind of like in the center and then you use a toothpick I mean I have a bunch of them over here leftovers and you just push the toothpick through there locking the rubber band in place and then cutting it off at that other edge and then that rubber band's gonna go around we need to stretch it a little bit and then it needs to go into this hole right right here so I'm gonna stretch it and kind of push it from the side into the hole holding it grabbing a toothpick any one of the longers I got left and then pushing it through there uh, twisting it a little bit so it doesn't pull the rubber band out but make sure you just like the rubber band in there and then you slice that off also and here you go uh, rubber band all around here and then we need two parts 101 which are also on board number seven right a little bit to the left of the center line slightly below the middle one and we push those through the two holes in the middle rectangular holes Uh, page number 44 uh, four parts 41 you just pull them out four and uh, once again we're gonna send them and wax them before putting it on so um, coming back each line represents five millimeters so uh, you need to cut to only one two three lines um, now that I'm thinking about it you guys probably if you follow the video you will make the same mistake once again, I apologize. Um, we were able to correct it. Uh, looks like that rubber band might be a little bit of the extra that was provided in the kit, but we still have a pretty large piece left. So we should be good to go. All right, we'll see later in the end. How's it gonna pan out? I guess for the dummies like me, they provide a little bit more additional extra rubber band in there just in case alrighty uh, so 41 on each end of 101 And that's gonna be our E2. Next step, uh, step number three, we need to toothpick cut in half. Uh, two parts, 104. Um, both of these are on board number six. And they're right at the top center here. And then it is recommended to put a little bit, apply a little bit of uh, wax on the toothpicks just to get them through these holes because it looks like the holes will be tight. So I'm applying a little bit as suggested onto the toothpicks and I'm going to use it my table. 
as the leverage to put the toothpicks through. Um, kind of holding by nail on both sides of the hole so I don't break the part and balance it out so the toothpick doesn't snap nor the part. And then make sure the shapes line up and insert the second one. All the way until the end. And then we snap off the toothpicks. And now step number five, that's gonna be our last part number 101, which is on board number seven. And then that's gonna go in through the holes here or one center hole and then two 41s that are left. Uh, don't forget to send them like connection points and put wax on them. And that's gonna be our part E3. Not only we need to wax the 41s, let's put them on first, but also we need to wax that little part here. Let me line it up, put it on, and we need to wax the round off pieces on that sub-assembly. All right, and that's our E3. Uh, moving on to the page number 45. Um, part number 105 and 106, both of them are on board number five. 106 to the left here, a little bit below the uh, middle, and then 105 is a little bit above on the right a little bit above the middle, all the way on the right. So these two snap together. All the way in. I, I would apply a little bit of a sending on the surfaces. Because there's connection points. And then we need parts number 107, which are, we pulled out a bunch of them from board number five right here in that big piece. So one, 107, which I'm gonna send the connection points and wax it all around. And then two 108s, which are on board number seven. Bottom right. And right in the center here. Both of these need to be waxed, the gears. So I'm applying wax by dipping them in a gear, um, gear in a wax. And then these gonna go through that sub-assembly of 105 and 106. All right, it doesn't look like it's all the way in. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of a wax on here and these guys too. Just to make sure I can get that 107 through. Line up. Um, flat surface with the top part 105. And then the, the gear is gonna go from the other end. Maybe 
too far. And then the second one. Almost like it's alive. Now push it all the way down. And then another 107, also from the board number five. We're gonna lock it. Oh, need to wax it and send it. as far as you can go uh, next step uh, we need part number 109 which is on board number seven uh, top right corner here I take out 183s put them on the side and then we need two one tenths and they're a little bit below a little here at the center and a little bit to the left so let's see these i i would send the connection points for now maybe not apply the wax because it doesn't show it but if you send the connections at least it's gonna look nice now we take that uh, 109 with a shorter piece or smaller piece over towards to you that first hole we're gonna insert with the gears on the left hand side and it's gonna sit on 107 in that hole. And then we lock it up with these two part 110. And next step is another 107 from board number five. As always, send it. And waxed. And then that's gonna lock this sub assembly from the other end. And just like this. And it's supposed to be freely moving here. That's complete step number six. And we're gonna move to page number 46. Uh, now more assemblies sub assemblies so we take rotate that piece that around opening we're going to insert e2 that's the one with the rubber band in here and that's going to go with the rubber band towards the wheel we're going to put it right and oh i see rubber band's going to stop it it's going to be like a brick um so the 41s go into that slot the next step is E3, at this one, uh, with the shorter ends gonna go into the hole here and lock into that round hole position of E3, just like that. So now you can move it back and forth, just like that. And our next step is number three, we put E1 into the large or brown hole and now let's see into large brown hole with the hook facing down and that's going to grab onto the other side of the e3 let's see we're gonna insert it like from the side and put it in so now that's the whole system just like that back and forth break release break release make sure it sits there properly and then we need part number 111 to lock it all in place uh that's on board number seven bottom right oh bottom left sorry and also 183 is inside push them out that's gonna go from this side here Make sure you line up all the all the little uh, hole, uh, not holes, but uh, 41s and 107. Just 
just like that. Alrighty. Step number four is complete. Next step is uh, five. We need part number 112, which is on board number eight. So we're getting to the end here. Right at the center here at the, at the top. And that's gonna go with the tab facing, we're on the gear side, facing to the right. We're gonna go over the gears. And then the next step is six. We need part number 113, which is on board number six. Let's see, at the bottom right here. And then this, let's see, these two tabs gonna go through the center tabs, or th center holes. Like that, locking it up. Next step, page 47, step one. I'm gonna put this aside for a second. Uh, we need part number 114 and 115 on board number six. So 114 is a little bit in the middle to the left here of the center line. And 115 is all the way top left corner. Same thing, just insert these. 114 into 152 as far as it can go and once again I would apply a little bit of a sandpaper at the top of 114 and maybe sides of the 115 where the connection points were all right we need parts 107 um, back from board number five two of them And then I'm gonna send these and apply wax. One's gonna go from one end all the way in up until the little tab here and the second one's going to go from the other side up until it cannot go any further and we take back our assembly and through the large hole here we insert these two parts right so 107s are right inside of the, these holes so and it's supposed to rotate fairly easily and we'll get it to work a little bit later. Next step is uh, step number three. We need parts 116 and 117. They're on uh, board number seven. So part number 117 is right here at the, to the right of the center line, a little bit above the middle. And 116 is right below here. Just one for now. Uh, we need to wax inside this little hole right here, uh, brown. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a toothpick, get a little bit of a wax, and get it right on the inside surface of that hole as much as I can. Did with a toothpick and a little bit with my finger as far, as far as I can squeeze it on both sides. So 117, that brown holds towards you on the bottom. 117 is going to go into the three square holes here. And then you push it all the way flat with the surface. And then part number 118, which is also on board number seven, 
uh, bottom right here. There's two of them there. That's gonna go on a side. Let's see. On the side here with a hook towards the top, but then that surface we need to sand it. The long surface of 118. So sand the connection points and then apply a wax along the that side. And that's gonna go with a hook towards the top against the part number 116 on the left hand side. And then we need parts number 119, three of them, and they're all gonna be on board number six. Um, they were right on the bottom center and a little bit to the right. Three of them, so first one's gonna go right on the top hole, locking that part in, and then the other two in the center hole and a bottom hole. So that part can go only a specific distance. Uh, moving on to the page number 48. We need part number 120, which is on also on board number seven. That's six, board number seven. That's gonna be a little bit above the middle to the right of the center line, right next to one of two. So we take that 120 out. Where's my helping tool? And that 120 with the tab's gonna go into the hole of that little hook 118 with the T facing down. Just like that. Uh, now we move up the part 118 so that who goes uh, right in the slot and we take the second part 118 which is on board 7 bottom right send it down on the bottom on the long surface and apply wax And now that's gonna go underneath these 119s and into the 120 tab, locking these two together and still moving up and down a little bit. Next step number four, we need part number 121 on board number six. So it's bottom a little bit to the left of the center line. And then with the words pull up facing, let's see, facing away from that large piece. An exclamation point that facing your direction, I'm gonna put it on 118s as far as it can go. Holding it together on the other side. And um, that's, so you see pull up here. Um, that's step number five. And then step number six, we take that sub assembly from before and from the side of the gears, we insert that hook with the up round into the, actually there's like a little T-shaped here. So we, sh we insert it right on that edge. Once again, remember from the side of the gear. Gonna line up the 107s there and push that against the surface. And then that 41 is gonna fall right into that as far as it can go and let's 
see, 122. It's going to go in step number seven. It's going to go over here. So 122, that's on board number seven. Bottom right. Uh, let's see, 122 is right here. That's going to go over that part. all these guys together uh, pushing these tabs through and let's see that's we're done with page number 48 moving on to the page number 49 and then we take another 107 from board number five and we have a bunch of them laying around here in my right top right corner. And then also send the connection points, apply the wax, and insert it through that T shape here. All right, that moved off. It's not how I planned it. Kind of separate it. All right, need to just readjust all the parts. Put them back in. There you go. Put that in. All right, so I've got to be a little bit more careful and easy on that. All righty. Uh, next step number two, we need part 124 and two 123s. Uh, so it's on board number one. So 124 is a piece right here. Now, uh, what is it? To the right, left of the center, halfway between the middle and the bottom. And then 123s are at the center at the top here. A board number one. And we have longer part, a longer piece here and a shorter. So longer is away from you uh, as far as the 123s concerned. They need to go, that hole should be on the bottom. So uh, let's see, and we push it all the way down to the T here. And the other one facing the same direction, so face like the larger part up, the hole is on the bottom from the shore direction, all the way up to the little tab. Putting these together. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna apply a little bit of sending at the connection points just to make it look nice. I don't think we need any wax at this point, at least it's not shown, but it's fine. So now we take that assembly and uh, let's see, it's gonna go with a shorter part through that hole here. Uh, and then part number 80, which we can find on board number five. And it's probably not there because board number, uh, actually, no, it is. So board number five, a little bit above the middle here, part number 80. And apply a little bit of a wax on it. And that goes over that tab within that locking mechanism here. Kind of wiggle it. Line it up first. Wiggle it to get it in. All right, so everything is still in place. Uh, and the next step, we turn it around. Part number 116 on board number seven. 
uh, right at the center here. That's gonna go from the other end. Uh, let's see. Kind of locking everything in place. Oh, and it fell off, fell out. Let's see if we put it back in before we go any further. Make sure all the parts are lining up. Take it off, put that back in place. That's a tough one. Line everything back up. All right. Hold it together. And let's see, one more attempt. Make sure all the tabs line up. Then it should go right in. Push it as far as it can go. Locking everything in place. Oh, and I forget. I'll put it in right now. A little bit of a wax into that uh, brown hole. And then 125 over it, which is also on board number seven, bottom right here. And that's gonna go right over. as you can push it with the numbers facing you obviously and let's see the part number one oh seven got left send it wax and that's gonna go right on that little T here. Locking in place. All right, page number 50, part number 80, which was on board number five, right next to the other, right in the middle, a little bit above, at the center, a little bit above the middle next to the other 80 that we had. Same thing, apply a little bit of a wax and then insert it onto that tab here. Right until it fits into the hole between the tabs. Uh, next one, let's see. 126 it's step number uh, actually part number 79 which is on board two which already out so it's one of the pieces laying here right here 79 i'm gonna send it but uh, we don't need to wax it that's gonna go over that tab Locking it in, and then we need part number 126, which is on board number six. And the bottom right here. Now, with uh, pulling that back, we need to, let's see, rotate. So 
we need to apply it, uh, these two circles uh, facing, well, whichever direction they're facing. So you're looking at that tab and then that point that needs to face into the 90 degree angle with that. So when you rotate it, these gonna be facing up just like that. Alrighty. That's our RPMs. And the next step number four is part number 127 on board number six. That's 128. So on board number eight, right on the bottom left here, it's gonna be part number 127. And that's gonna go, let's see, from the side of the gears, right over 172 here, or no, set, whatever it is, part number 172, 107, 107, and then 128 is gonna go on the other side, so that's on board number six, bottom, right almost at the center here, a little bit to the right. That's gonna go on the other side. Now we need to check this mechanism is moving. To set up, so everything's good. And then the next step is a toothpick cut in half. Step number six, we push the toothpick through the hole on the bottom here. Let's see my helping tool. All the way in, I'm assuming. Page number 51. Yes, all the way in. Then we take uh, one rubber band, the thin one, uh, and we're gonna wrap it around that toothpick from inside. So I'm gonna push it in. I'm gonna use actually the, uh, let's see if I can. Yep, I'm gonna use the little paper clip that we had. Grabbing onto the, yeah. Uh, rubber band and wrapping it around that um, toothpick and I'm grabbing both ends and that's gonna go over here onto this tab right here so I'm just gonna inside there stretch it out a little bit and put it right onto that little T as I finish that I'm gonna cut off the extra toothpick here And that sub-assembly step number four, I'm gonna go on to that base. Let's see on that shorter side with the levers towards that little end. So that's gonna go fit into the all the holes around there. I'm gonna start with the four ones. Try to start. Whichever holes you can fit in first. Like they say, be my guest. <laughs> Try different sides where you can start off. Let's see, I'm going to try at this end. Used 
did go in. Center. The other end. Make sure all the tabs are sitting right next to their holes. Now the idea is to apply a little bit of a wax to these, but I'm committed already, so I'm not gonna do it at this time. Let's see, that side's somewhat in. Now we need to push the middle piece in. Kind of start it off. Yes. Alrighty. Align it. Ooh, toothpick is on the way. Oh, not to the toothpick. Rubber band. So I'm gonna try to push it out. That rubber band. There you go. It's no longer on the way. Now everything goes in. And little by little, make sure that everything sits nice and flat against the surface. So uh, we're good with the part here. Everything is in place. Almost. All right. So this is our assembly. It sits all the way in. And uh, let's see, next step, yeah, that was a tough one. Uh, we're done with page number 51. Uh, moving on to the page number 52. I'm gonna put this aside. Need parts number 129 and 130 on board number seven. Uh, 129 is the bottom to the left of the center line and the other one is a little bit above the middle and to the left and then 130 is all the way to the left and then 129 so these little openings gonna face away from you and then this up round or round off piece towards you we insert the 129 from each end And then a bunch of 131s, top right corner of board number seven. Uh, let's see, we need all five of those. Okay, I'm gonna pull all of these out.
first. Ugh, takes me forever. Uh, let's see. And we're making a little handle. And then these 31 pieces are gonna go, uh, let's see, with the round off. So the curve's gonna face out towards the outside. I'm gonna insert it to the little tabs. our handle and we're done with step number three on page 52 okay next step uh let's see put it aside um, <laughs> okay next step is number four um so in uh, this one we get Everything is operating. Uh, we insert the. We just need to figure out which way. So there's two cutouts here. And we insert with these cutouts right into that handle. And lock it in so it's supposed to stay in place nice and tight. All right, so now it's done. Uh, next step, we take a toothpick. And then the toothpick's gonna go through, let's see, the four holes right here. So we just push push it through. And if it doesn't go easy, you may wanna put a little bit of a wax on it. And then it should go in smoother. And if it doesn't, still doesn't, I recommend trying out a different toothpick because they are different sizes and some of them are a little thinner, some of them are a little thicker. Uh, so it's usually one, maybe slight little difference and that will play a huge role. Let's see if this one doesn't work very well either. Let's see. Can I give it a feel? Uh, see, maybe one just feels a little slightly thinner than the other. Yep, here we go. Here's one example. So that one went in much smoother. Uh, <clears throat> then we push it in as far as we can go and chop it off at the ends. The sharp ends one side and then the other side we're done with step number five and step number six we put the tower on top and that's gonna go in this corner right here so um, we insert the tower and then our gear is supposed to face this gear right here so very nice and simple line up all the holes and start, I guess, inserting. Where is it supposed to go? <laughs> so all I'm doing is just lining up the holes, pressing it down. Here, maybe you can see it better this way. Just like that. 
in four places. Uh, let's see, so everything is good. Everything is inserted. And so it's right where it's supposed to be. So our tower is attached. I'm gonna put it aside. Moving on to the page number 53. Uh, let's see. Step number one, uh, we need parts 133 and 132. They're all on board number eight. Looks like it. And then uh, let's see, 133 is gonna be top right corner right here. And second 133 is gonna be a little, uh, little bit above middle to the left of the center line here. Just right, right here. So that one's a little tougher to get out. But we still manage it to work it. And then 132 would be on the bottom here. That's gonna be right piece right here. That's the piece above the other half round. So careful, this might be a little fragile. Uh, let's see, take it out. And now, uh, let's see, the piece that kind of bends over and faces down at 90 degrees rather than flat, that's the size side that should be on the right. And then 133 is going to go into that f f hole with the little cutout here towards the top and closer to you, obviously. So there is still a little bit of material left in mine. I'm going to use the toothpick to push that material out. Here you go. And then on the same on the other side with that little hook facing up and closer to you. We insert these two in there. Then the next piece is 134, two of them. They're also on board number eight. One is right here, right below the middle on the left, right below the 133. And the second one is bottom right corner here. So those two uh, with the wording facing towards you, we're gonna insert it into the second hole on the left. And here with the wording facing towards the outside, once again, also towards you, we're gonna insert it on the second hole on the other side. Uh, next step is uh, part 135 on uh, step three. And that one is gonna be on actually board number seven. And let's see, let me get all that stuff away. Uh, it's the top left corner here. And here, with the longer piece taken out, hook is similar to the 133 pieces facing you. It's gonna go right in the center hole at the top. So once we're done, we wax a little bit these little hooks on parts number 135 and 133s. And we put that on the side. Next step is part number 136. That's gonna be on board number eight, and that's top right here, top of the board. So we take it out, and then uh, part number 137. Uh, 137, there's a bunch of them here, and we need one, two, three, four, five of them. So it says open on them. Push them out, one, two, three, and you kind of work the parts in. So I press it up and down a little bit, more uh, pressure applying towards the bottom, as I mentioned before, to make sure that the um, fibers stay on the board rather than on the part. So all the, 137 parts are in that cluster. All right, got them all five. 
now 137, 135, 136, and then 137 is going to go, let's see, with the arrow towards the uh, 136. And here, this one's going to be open facing the top, just like that, facing top. Uh, facing, I'd say, to the right. So I guess open should face, the uh, arrow should point towards 136. All right. The next step is 138, and then it's the, all the way at the bottom of board number eight. And that's gonna go over these parts. That's our step number six. Just line up. The tabs, the print certain. And then squeeze it in for complete sitting. All right, nice and tight. Moving on to the page number 54. And then that's gonna go over the uh, Sub other sub assembly, so that long piece will push through this hole right here. And then these two parts will lock, oops, onto the openings on a side of 136. Push it in, push it through. Squeeze it a little bit and push it through and let's see how far it just needs to go in a little bit or not further until these are sticking out a little bit and then we take part number 132 on board number six which is right here on the bottom And within it, there is parts 140, so I'm going to put those on the side. Once again, there is one with the 90 degrees that should be uh, on the same side as this part. Mm -hmm. So in, uh, that's step number two, match these. Once again, that centerpiece is going to go through the top hole, push it in, and then lock it on these, I think, 137. Onto parts 137, uh, no, not, not 137, 133s. And other parts that are sticking uh, out. Let's see. So this should be moving. Do we need to wax just the ends? Yeah, just the locks. Doesn't say anything about waxing that surface there, but it should be moving. That internal piece should be moving in and out on the external piece. Next step is step number four. We need parts 140 and 139. So 140 is the ones that I just pulled out. They were together with piece 132. So take these out. And then 139 is right at the center, a little bit above that 132 piece. Um, 
139 with that hole facing towards the top, 140 with the tabs away from you, which wouldn't matter at this point of time. Uh, but the round off portion towards the top, so that's what matters. So flat portion is on the bottom, and that's gonna go onto that long part, and we're inserted into the holes on 132. So now it's going to be traveling back and forth without twisting much. Uh, that completes step number six. Uh, moving on to the page number 55. Uh, step number one, part number 141. That's on board number six. On the, uh, below the middle on the right hand side here. 141. And that's going to go with the parts that are at 90 degree turn. Uh, let's see, so there's two holes here uh, and four holes here. So the ones on the two holes, we rotate. So the larger half round is going to be on the right, the smaller on the left, I guess, or inside, doesn't matter. But it, you can pull it to the left. Uh, so these two tabs are going to go into two holes. And make sure this cutout is facing towards the inside. Just like that, push it in. And the next step is part number 142, which is right above, above uh, top right of board number six here. This is gonna go, we turn it around, and that piece with the tabs facing you, it's gonna go on these two. Uh, uh, tabs. Let's see with the inner hole and this hole. So the two, not the two within the circular ones. Just like that. Next step is uh, part 143, which is also on board number six. It's right next to 141 here. And that's gonna go inside that longer piece, 141. The first hole uh, with the, this tab facing towards the outside on the bottom. So make sure you insert it the correct direction, just like this. And then the next one is part number 144, which is on the right-hand side of that board. There's a tab with one hole, so that tab, we're gonna go in the same part here, that's gonna go closer to the sub-assembly. And that's gonna get inserted right into that larger hole that is in the middle, almost in the middle there, just like that. Next step is step number five, and we need part number 145, we'll board six. It's right in the center middle here, right in the center of the board. And so with the hole facing these holes, it's gonna go from this shorter side. Uh, let's see, any symmetry. So it's you look at that circle, the slot should be on the right hand side. You won't be able to insert it any other way because there's three holes on one side and only two holes on the other side, but just in case, if you're going to try. Just push it on. I 
there once again as flat as you can get it onto this sub-assembly. As far as it can get it, as far as it can go. Here we go, a little further. Right. Done with step number five. Step number six is part number 146. Uh, there's two of them on board number seven. Uh, right here, a little bit above the metal on the left hand side. So I'll pull both of these out one and two. And these gonna go, let's see, on the same side, one end the with the triangle is gonna be on the bottom here, right next to the hole. And the second end right into the hole at the top of that circular part. And then on the other side, same thing. Go all the way in. And we're done with page number 55, step seven. That's our F1 part. Moving on to the page number 56. As we're gonna start assembling the motor, we need 15 rubber bands. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we need part number 147, which is on board number five. <clears throat> so that's gonna be right here at the top left little bit below the uh, top edge. Uh, we take one rubber band, goes in. Uh, let's see, we start with any hole. We'll start with the top left. Push it in. And then wrap it around any diagonally opposite hole push it back out in the same size kind of pull it so it's about the same distance on both sides so one and we need times five or five more times. So it's three sets of five rubber bands. So let's see, number two through the same hole, right? Mm -hmm. Push it in. Push it out the other end. Even them out. Just the rubber bands are the same. So we got two. I'm trying to figure out where the third one goes. Third one goes in the same hole and then over it, the two holes gonna be only two rubber bands. So I'm just gonna insert it on one end. And you can help yourself with the little tool that we made earlier, which is a little um, paper clip. So we put it on that. As long as I can put the rubber band on it and then pull it through one hole, let it go, go on the other side, hook it up, and pull it through the other hole. So we got three rubber bands into this side ones. 
and then we are gonna need to get two rubber bands into the top and bottom kind of so if I'm looking at it as a top and bottom so maybe easier just to do two at a time because those are the only two that we left to do in that hole and pull it out of the other hole just like that so you got a bunch of rubber bands uh, let's see making sure they're not crisscrossing much it's easy to separate as of right now uh, and then i need part number 148 so um to lock those in those are going to be on board number four so i'm going to do one set at a time let's see 148 there's one and there's two it's gonna be, we're in this circle so they're gonna be on a board or somewhere on the side here so 148 and 148 they're more squared off for me rather than being round like shown on the picture but i guess they made some modifications so on uh, here we take the top two put it through the top hole bottom two put it through the bottom just line them up and squeeze them through and then the three on each side same thing I'm gonna line them up to make it easier try to get trying to get one two three here we go one side and then the other side pull on them kind of like to even the rubber bands out they might not ever get like straight but when you pull apply some pressure on it you'll see that they're they're gonna lose that slack in there so we got one in and we got three more left that we need to do so let's see same thing we're gonna do uh three on the kind of like horizontal towards inside these two side holes and then uh, two on the top and bottom so let's do one it'll take some time so bear with me here or if you're faster you can put, <laughs> scroll it forward on YouTube unfortunately I'm doing live so I cannot fast forward it So I'm using the paper clip just to make it easier. Hook it up, pull it, pull it up uh, on the other side, pull it back in. We got three, and then two. Gonna grab onto them, pull a little bit so to get the slack out. Maybe use 148 right away while I'm pulling on these.
just to complete that portion. I'm stretching out a little bit and then it should slide right into those holes. One side. Should probably do it on the other side. Towards inside. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side. Two. Kind of pull on it to straight, straight thing it out, and then the last two on this one. Oop. Make sure you're not overlapping. Then your rubber bands. Not grabbing any extras. Gonna go on the outside. Oop. One fell out. One and then the other hole. Grab it with the little paper clip. Bring it over. Hook it onto the last side. Pull on it a little bit just to get it straightened out. Same here a little bit. All right, and then the last side. So I grab three. Didn't go as well as planned. Three. Three on the inside and three on the other side. I guess I can taste the end <laughs> and getting a little impatient here. Here we go. Straighten it out. All right, and two more. This side. And from that other side. All right, and we're almost done with our motor. here and then the other side on the opposite end and we're 
done with page number 56. Hopefully you're still watching as it got a little bit boring there. Uh, next step, uh, page number 57, uh, we need uh, board number three. And uh, part number 149, they're on board number 649. That's where we start with. There's two, we're gonna start with one. It's bottom left corner. Some parts within it. And then we need uh, three toothpicks cut in half. These gonna go through the outside holes. Got the outer diameter. Through the toothpick holes. Let's see, there's four on the outer diameter and two on inside on these two uh, legs. Pushing it through to get it all the way to the surface, flat with the surface. And then another part number 149 over it, bottom left of the same board number six. Pull out the internal pieces. And then uh, same direction, make sure it matches the all the size ma sides match. We push that through down all the way to the second one. And then we cut off the toothpicks. That's gonna give us, we're done with step number, just finish up, cleaning up the toothpicks there. We're done with step number three. That's gonna be our part F3. And put it on the side here. And then uh, step number four, need part number 150. That's on board number three. on board number three so there's one 150 here and we need to make three of those step number six at the end shows three times so we need three 150s uh 40 and those gonna be within this circle here which we popped out earlier so it's right here and there's gonna be one 50 ones I believe somewhere on the side two. There, right here. So 150s. Three 150s. Uh, let's see. There should be six 151. We have five here on this one. And then with an inner circle, there was another 151 and three 41s. All right, so 141s. Uh, paper clip on the side, just in case if we need it there. Later, so 41s, we sand and we apply 
uh, wax out onto them. So one, two, and three. And they go on the shorter tab there, right by the T. And our next step. All the way in. And then the next step, number five, is two of the gears. Push through that uh, long piece all the way to the T. And then apply wax to the gears. That would be our number one. I would apply the wax first. It's going to be easier. Two, three, and four. So one, two, we should all the way down and the third one. All the way down to the T. We're done with page number 57, seven, step six, page 58. Step one, we need part number 153 and 152. And so those are on board number four and three uh so that's so we're going to be within the board number three done except we have an extra 69 part so i can pitch it out um it's on one of the inserts uh so um 153s and 152 is on board number four there's one i have here from inside of here at some point of time all right uh so let's see 153 we need uh one two three right away i'm just gonna go ahead we don't need th all three in the first step uh, there's going to be a little tight fit in there, so I'm going to do um, file them and uh, wax them right away. And then, uh, sorry, <laughs> short sentences there. So I'm going to file and wax them right away and then use them as needed. Uh, on this page a little bit later and we need to make three of these sub assemblies so this is number one uh, and then we need parts 154 we also need three of these and so let's see um and as I said, both of these parts are on board three and four. Uh, on board number three, we already pulled it out at some point of time within uh, little blocks from inside other larger parts. So they're gonna should be sitting on the side of your table, um, not uh, or from board number four, not on the board. All right. So first step, we insert 153 in, onto one of these little tabs. Uh, and 
there's directionality so the longer axis going this way into the uh, part 152 then we insert 154 over it uh, next step number two we insert or actually number three we insert on the next pin we insert 154 first and then we insert 153 inside of it because it's not going to fit the other way and push it in so it doesn't even want to come out and then step number that's four step number five same thing we insert the 154 first slide it over the tab and then we insert 153 line it up with the pin And here comes the tough part is to get it on. I can't get my fingers in there. So I'm just going to use the tool helping tool and push it on there. So here we go. We have our three bearings inside there, inside that circle and 153s and 154. So we need to make three of these and I'm going to put it on the side. And pull the other part. Uh, so 152s are on board number four. There is uh, three 154s here on the same board in the top left corner. There is one spare. Uh, let's see, 154. So I'm just going to sand and wax all these 153s and 154s. All right, four of these. And 153 should be two more here. Alrighty, so uh, let's send, I'm going to start with 153. Uh, sending down the connection points. Now putting a little wax on every single piece. The wax is important because uh, we do need it for lubrication. Uh, there is a lot of friction in the part and this particular assembly is pretty large and there's going to be a lot of moving components so you want to put as much wax as possible in order to eliminate or reduce the friction as much as possible. Of course, the sanding is also important is because to remove all these burrs and connection points and everything, that's all these little parts will prevent, I mean, a little, little tiny particle there may prevent 
from good complete operation or smooth operation I should say all right so same um, steps as before we put out 153 first then 154 over next one we put 154 first and then 153 on inside once again I'm gonna use the tool to put it in Alrighty, and then the third pin same thing 154 then 153 just a line at 153 insert the tool and press it in all the way in so number two is ready and then the last number three Oop. well i guess we could start with 154 but it's just the f it's easier to put 153 in first on the first step then 154 154 then 153 almost made a mistake there And the last one, 154, wiggle it in, and then 153. So just line it up with a tab. Oops. And then use the tool to press it in. All right, so step number seven is done. We've got all three done. Uh, now step number eight uh, is to insert 155 and 41. So 155 are uh, gonna be on a board number four on the right-hand side, right in the middle here. So these are small, smaller parts. And then 41s, we have three of them left from board number three. That would be like on the bottom left uh, circle there. There's a, there are a lot of 41 parts throughout the assembly. All right. One, two, three. And then we need to wax these up. And now we take the sub assembly that we did before. We put this uh, little roller through it all the way to the end then we take one part number 155 let's see it should go in between all these wheels kind of uh, separating wheels so let me see 
it should go all the way to the end. Um, so I'm going to take it out. I'm going to push that part 155 inside the assembly. Uh, and let's see, I kind of to see to make sure that it's uh, in the same uh, X or the f uh, surface plane as the uh, part 152 so kind of like right in the center there and then I'm gonna put it over and then lock it up with part number 41 I'm gonna push that part as far as it can go so that uh, portion is moving on inside that little um, bearing all right and then as far as the uh, that little rod goes there's like a little step so your 154 is gonna go only to a specific point all right so uh, same thing on all these three bearings I guess it's easy to put it on to the rod Get 155 in there and then lock it up with the 41. And then, then make sure this spins on the axis. And a number three. All the way in and once again spinning on its axis all right uh, we're done with page number 58 put these aside page number 59 we need two parts number 156 which are on board number five they're right here a little bit above and below the middle to the left of the center line and then three parts 157 they're right here on the left hand side of the board Push these out. And here we have these little tabs here, openings. They're gonna go to the uh, towards the outside and closer to the these wheels. I'm gonna push these through. And how far does it need to go? Past these or not? I guess past these. All the way up to the uh, little tabs there. And repeat with the same two other two pieces. Once again, that little opening is towards the closer to the uh, gears and pointing outward. All right, a little more and a little more. There you go. All right, now it's completely flat against those tabs. Next step, we need to wax uh, this uh, gears here. So I'm still using my little candle wax. Kind of bending the tin cup to get it fit in there. 
and it doesn't look like I'm getting too much wax on there. So I'm going to finally use the little stick that was provided just to make sure that I get enough wax personally I don't like the one that is provided because it's a little too flaky so I'm kind of like a lot of flakes and it falls off of it but it does the job and then we need part number 158 and step number two it's top left corner of the same board number five we insert it uh, from the other side. And let's see, it uh, has to go all the way to the tabs here. So I'm going to send these connection points. Because it does go a little hard and I'm going to use a little of wax on these long pieces just to get the sliding smoother through the, those rectangular holes little by little pressure on every single side and push it down up to the tabs there on all three sides all right so we got it down that's our part f5 also put it on the side uh, let's see on the side and then uh, step number three we need three toothpicks Cut in half, and then part number 159, two of them, they're going to be uh, on the left side of the board number five. And then we put the toothpicks from, let's see, from one side. Doesn't matter, I guess, which one. Just as long as you we line up the parts at the end and then once again make sure you line up all these uh, surfaces there outlines and we push the second one 59 over these toothpicks and we cut them off as close to the surface as possible as we're going to be inserting some parts over these so my recommendation would be not only to cut it off, but also run the sandpaper on both sides. Actually, not only on both sides, but all four sides. So we fit one uh, sixties uh, the end first. Those are also on board number five at the bottom left here. And then let's see. So these little tabs facing away from you, the little dots on part one sixty. I'm gonna first because these are gears clean out first of all the burrs that I see and I'm gonna dip it into the K 
handle legs prior to putting them on there because these are gears and we will need a wax on them. So these tabs away, the dot should be towards the top. And these are these two, all the way in. Moving on to the page number 60. Step number one, we need to insert two fives. Let's see, and I have fives here on one of the, or there should be more left. Let's see on what board it would be. On board number one. Oh, yeah. So I have I took the spares, but just in case we could take the ones that are in here. So we need one, two, three, four total on this page. And because we need to send them and wax them, I took all four right away. So like I just do that in one shot rather than waiting until the end of the page. To change the operation. All right. Um, send them and wax them. Then we insert these fives from the end where we just did the gears all the way up to the gears. That's our F6. Now that uh, F6 join in with F5 that we just created on the previous page. So that's going to go through that uh, the gear is going to be on the side of that little interesting shape rather than through the side of the gears. And uh, that goes only up to the little um, tabs there. It doesn't go any further. Then we need part number 161, which is on uh, which one? That should be on one of the board number three on one of the inserts. There's also a spare on board number one, the top right corner here. So that's why I was looking at it. So same thing, we're going to send it and wax it. And that's going to go all the way to the end of this run. This up to this little surface. A little tough to put it on. As the first tab that's where sending was good <laughs> and it needs to go all the way down so I kind of sandwich in my fingers in there it all the way in let's see all right pass that little tab to make sure it doesn't gonna go backwards if there is a nut 
any pressure uh, let's see and then um, so I had to squeeze this part a little bit here to get it on and then pass that all the way up to the surface here and then part number five ooh, and that's what I forgot to do now I'm um, a little out of luck and I have to kind of try to remove it let's see if I'll be able to fix this situation here all right I was able to so uh, I'm gonna cut out that portion so but uh, make sure that you guys don't make the same mistake I'm gonna rewind back a little bit and uh, you're not gonna see what I did uh, so mistake that I made I, I put that part through then I inserted one uh, 61 before putting five so I had to remove it now um, to make sure you don't make the same mistake I have rewinded it so I missed the step number two in my uh, previous failure so my first step is to insert part number five over that rod hopefully <laughs> and one of our or my five separated so I need the second one I'm gonna use the one that I have already prepared and I got it second one also failed to go all the way in all right I got two spares hopefully one of these will work all righty let's try a little more sending there I'm gonna do oh, and then works these five guys Sending helped a lot. So we insert the number five first. I'm gonna wax it. Put it through the uh, step number four F5 assembly. And then we put the 161 over it. again on this specific step sending and waxing is essential of that long run because as you can see it did give us some trouble in the beginning but now we locked it up and then we insert another five which is so uh, we need to Sand and wax. Uh, once again, at this step, you press the little bar a little bit and you move it down all the way to the end. Or 
before we stop it. We don't need to move it all the way to the end. Well, I guess I could move it back up for now. We move it up to that little tab and we just leave it right before it. Okay, our next step uh, would insert these little guys onto the three little holes here and uh, get them wiggle in a little bit to get the gears engaged. F4. Our next step is uh, one six two one sixty twos, which are on board number five on the right hand side here. And we get these over. All right, so uh, there's holes for the tabs, and also there's holes for. Okay, it was part number 41. So get them on the tabs first. This is the first one. Then align these little parts to get them into the holes. So you can squeeze it further down. And then you press that sub assembly or that gear as far down as it can go. And we insert the second one over it. Until it's flat. Once we have both of these sitting on there, let's see, the center piece is rotating very nice and smoothly there. And we do two fives at the end. So uh, let's see, we have the two five left. I did use the spare one, so but. There's two more on the board, number one. And we send them and wax them. And I'm also gonna apply wax to these gears, large 162 gears. All right, so let's do fives first. of these push them in inside a little bit of that assembly so the little opening is visible and uh, let's see we do need the wax it is shown actually sorry so I'm gonna use that little stick that they have provided to me And we're done with page number 61. Moving on to the page number 62, step one. So this five has to sit right before that little tab. Uh, let's see. 
I'm just gonna put the toothpick in there and the tab to make sure that 151 doesn't move any further. At this point of time, and let's see. So we need 10 millimeter cuts out cutouts of the toothpick, and it's gonna be interesting. All right, so let's do three. Let's see, three toothpicks. So my marks here are 10 millimeter. One, two, and three. All right. Uh, okay, before we get to it, so we need F2 with the rubber bands facing in. I put it through the middle here. Onto the tabs. Then five, should be right inside there. Um, move the parts I'm gonna remove that actually toothpick. Make sure it's not on the way. Five is sitting in there. And then you push the little part through here. We got the toothpicks prepared. So we push kind of like onto inside and through and grab it on the other side. Stretch the rubber band. Stuff and then what we'll need to do, we'll need to put it onto this little uh, long rod and insert a toothpick through it. So I'm gonna rotate the rod so the hole is facing me. So after I insert it, it's gonna be easier for me to get in there. Grab it by my two fingers, pull it. It's a tough job. Put it onto there, hold it with your fingers. I'm kind of like holding it by hand, it's a little tough. Then you insert the toothpick right in the middle there. into a little hole as I pre-started and then I'm gonna use my tool tab tool to push it in further so you need to have it sticking out on both ends a little bit so when you release that little piece it's just gonna lock in place all right first one's done So there is uh, my number five split a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, I don't think it matters because this part is not rotating on there. Uh, so um, it should be good. Let's see, second step. Is the second one. Once again, rotate it so it's facing you. Pull it, put it on the rod and pull it further. Get the toothpick and push it through the hole. Start it and then I'm gonna use the tool to push it further. Put 
because it's hard to press on the toothpick by your fingers. Once again, just far enough so it um, shows up on the other side. And then when you pre uh, let it go of that little piece, it's just gonna sit on the toothpick. Now the third one, last one, just rotate it a little bit. Make sure there is movement. It seems like it's only on one side, so it still should be okay. I believe. All right, but we'll see. And then of course the third one is the hardest. It feels like the hardest. I did it twice already. There you go. All right. So all three steps are done. And we're done with step number four. Next, we're going to get this large assembly into the F1, which is sitting here with the large gears towards the inside. just like this we're done with page number 62 63 we lock it up with 163 which would be found on board number six uh, so board number six, and it was in, within inside of this little circle, so it should be on the side here. All right, 163. Right, then we take 163 and put it through this large hole in here with a flat surface towards the gear. Gonna start it off and then I'm gonna use my tool to move it so it's symmetrical and doesn't fall out. All right, done with uh, step number one. Step number two is need, we need another five, which can be found on board number six, right uh, bottom to the right of the center line here. And once again, send and wax. And it's gonna go against that uh, wheel here not all the way in but kind of up to the step and we're gonna put it on the side so I just left it right here not going too far there's like a little step there just gonna leave it there all right um, Next step is number three. We need parts 165 and 164. They're both on board number six. So 164 right at the center all the way at the top here. And then 165s are a little below the middle on the right hand side. Uh, so the second one we'll need at the end. But the first step is take 165 and then 164s with a T facing kind of like an up and down. I'm gonna put it through these two holes on the side. All the way in. And 
side and the other and press it all the way into the end. And then we need part number 166, also on board number six to the left here in the middle. Take out 187s from inside. Now, number four points out to the direction of the teeth. So they should face counterclockwise here. Then we insert from the back uh, that 164, 165 sub assembly. against the surface. Next step is 167, which is on board number five, bottom left. And bottom left here. And then the little teeth, they were within large piece here. So we have it sitting on the side. So I'm gonna toss this board. 168. Uh, where's my helping tool? Get this little teeth out. We have a couple spares or one spare. Alrighty, and let's see. We need to wax these guys. to the rounded portion. And now 167 with the teeth pointing uh, clockwise now, we insert it into here, kind of like into opening of 166. And then they put, put the teeth also facing the same direction. All four of them in here. And then we all lock it all up with 165 over the tabs. And we're done with page number 63. Part 169, board number eight, bottom right corner, right here. We insert it into the, that sub assembly. Once again, with the teeth, internal teeth facing clockwise, external counting clockwise from the back with the flat portion towards the top on the left hand side, work side closer to you. As far as it can go. And then that goes into sub assembly that we did. Uh, let's see. With that rectangular opening. Just trying to see if the direction matters there. Goal is to line up. Once you line it up and put a shear on the rod from the other side so I don't I'm kind of like working it my way in I need to set it on something so I don't break out these little points in order to give a little pressure And this little tab's gonna go into the
to the other side of that part 166. Restarted. Get it in. Let's see. Make sure it's far enough. And then uh, let's see. Everything is tight, straight. Maybe I need to push that little. Part a little further until it actually covers the five inside. So now it should be straight. It's sitting on these little two tabs. And um, then we put another five on the end here. That's the last piece on board number six. Insert it all the way in until it's inside the part here. Okay, uh, our next step is parts uh, F3 that we created earlier. That one's going to go over that whole assembly. There's one way. up and then that work it in I need something uh, let's see it's a little tough from the back maybe leverage and so we can insert 163 in there all right so I got it as far as I could and then uh, 163 the second one is written right in here and then that goes through that hole and once again I'm gonna start it up and then use my tool Get in further. Okay, it's all the way in. Now we just need a little bit on the other side. Actually, it's, it already sticks out a slight, slight bit. Just need a little, little tiny piece there so it doesn't pop open back up. Here you go. That's good. Um, that completes number five step. And then we take number uh, six is take that whole assembly. And with that wheel towards the outside, that goes into the, let's see, these two tabs are here, holes, these holes, there's one hole here. Uh, these guys gonna go on inside of this, uh, two more, three more holes here, and these two tabs gonna go right in here. So just line it all up. And I'm gonna start from this end. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I need to line these holes up and then insert it 
push it in one side and the other side side is in that side uh, there's nothing on that side all right this one let's see we need to make sure that it's all the way in and the tabs are in mm -hmm. this tab is in and now this side right here in the front this one's in left and right rotate it around this little tab is falling out mm -hmm. these are not matching up let's see a little squeeze in here Side, second side, one on the bottom. Here you go, top and bottom, and then we can squeeze it. All right, got all these lined up, so all of these tabs are in. And now, this little piece that's the last one, okay, I need to hold that little give it a little leverage. All right, I think I got all of these in, and the last step. So everything, yep, all of these are flat in. And now the last step is parts number 24. They're on board number one. There's four of them left right here. Um, And these gonna go through these parts right here. L4 to lock these in place. So let's make sure it's lined up. Oop. I won't be able to rotate it so you guys can see it, but you get the idea. Just like shown in step number seven. So we need to push it through the first hole and then through the second hole in the back. So I'm just kind of, I'm trying to find some leverage so I can push it through both holes. Here you go. I kind of like stick my fingers in there or something because I can't turn it on the side because I can insert it into the first hole, no problem, but the second one, and I cannot get in there. So somehow I need to line these. Mm. Let's see. Maybe I can use my tool to hold it in place. Or hold it from the other side. And here you go. Yeah, here you go. So I'm pull it, pushing with the tool from back. And that's how I'm able to get those in. That's at least the front portion here. So I got these two in. Uh, this one I was just holding the part, squeeze that in. And then the bottom portion, 
I haven't squeezed it all the way in yet, but at least I started. So I'm pushing the tool from the back here through the holes and kind of pushing in that part. Here you go. To get it flat in or all the way in. And I probably have to get in. Oh, yep. So that's what I'm going to do for the other side. I'm just going to get hold the part with my tool from the back here and insert the part 24 all the way in and I'm done so both all four of these are completely in and hold the part in place all right done with uh, board page number 64 moving on to the page number 65 okay uh, page 65 uh, let's see move that aside a little bit uh, page uh, 65 step one we need parts 170 and 171. So 170 is on board number eight. That's the large piece right here, right at the center here, or to the left a little bit of the center. And got, can put that one back just to make sure I don't lose it. And then 171 is gonna be on board number seven. Now uh, right at the center at the top here. So there's two parts. And I need the second one for the step number two. All right, so these go on the side here on these wings or leaves or petals or whatever you want to call it. Um, and there is a directionality. So there's like two short, uh, too close to each other. Uh, so there's a matching uh, side for the um, Uh, tabs uh, let's see doesn't matter which way so just push them in until it's flat to the surface and then same thing step two on the other side all right just two of them are in and that completes step number two. Uh, step number three, we need part number 176, which is on board number eight, on the top right here. 170, no, wait, that's not 176. Uh, 176 is on board number seven, and uh, top uh, to the left of the 171s. And there's 172 on there. 176 so we do 176 first and that part's gonna go right at the center here uh, let's see there's a little uh, kind of like a tail two tail one tail and two tails so the so the side with the two goes towards this uh, round shape here uh, and let's see and that goes in the last opening right here and uh, part uh, 170 uh, not out of these three so it's going to be the last one closest to the the shape here and then we insert these all the way in and then 173 which is uh, looks like on board number eight uh, center bottom here a little bit to the right of the center part out and that's gonna be up front with the uh, longer tab sticking towards the uh, to, towards the end all the way in uh, next step we need two parts number six mm, those are on board number one top right corner uh, we just got two sixes left Take the whole black out and get those sixes out and uh, once again gonna send these and apply a little bit of a wax on the outside and these two parts go 
onto these two tabs at the end of part 170. Just like that. And then uh, the last piece on this page is 174. 174 is the top right of board number eight. That's the one that I tried to pull out a little bit earlier. So we're gonna get it out now. There's two of them actually. So uh, one's gonna go onto the, I guess, if you look at it as a rocket on the left side, one is on the right. And let's see, it is, uh, looks like it is symmetrical. So there is no specific way to put it in. Mm, let's see. Or is there? Mm -hmm. Is it going to fit? There's going to be some spacing in between. So there's, uh, okay, so these four tabs, yeah, there's a little directionality on here. So there's like one uh, tab that split that's gonna go in here and then the rest gonna go into these four holes. Let's see if that's the truth. Yeah. So we need to get these in first. I'm gonna do it from the side. Just double check something it doesn't fit because we did not insert it on the right side so me didn't pay not paying any attention so I insert this on the wrong side it has to be on the opposite from these two tabs so I'm gonna pull it out and as you can see we all uh, make mistakes and this is not my first one throughout this assembly but I mean everything well almost everything is fixable so I'm just using that uh, tool that we have to pull the 173 out flip it upside down now reinsert same way as before probably should also cut this part out but uh, inserting 174 now it's going to sit nice and perfect in there moving on to the page number 66 and second 174 it's uh to the left of the center light right in the middle here of the board number eight I will uh, probably take that part out or put a note on there, try to put a note just to make sure it doesn't screw you guys up. Uh, so 174 on the other side and then we covered those up with 175s which are on board number eight also. Top left corner here, uh, three of them. chose to do it in the same direction the uh, one triangle away from you which doesn't matter at the end probably but we'll see uh, let's see uh, so these all right now we flip it over and 172 is on uh, the other side here 
uh, which is on board number seven. Top here to the left. 172 gets inserted from the other side. Uh, same thing with the two tails towards that uh, round shape here. And we have only two holes, just like that. Um, and that's our G1, so I'm going to put it on the side. Moving on to the page number 67, uh, we need parts number 179 and 177. Uh, 179 is on board number 8. Right at the center, a little bit above the middle here. And 177 are on board number 7. Uh, top left here, so this is the only parts except 190 are in the top left corner. So, and these uh, 177s with the uh, rectangular hole, they're gonna go on to 179. And you might wanna send 179 a little bit. And then I'm doing it with a little uh, the pointy shape up on both sides and the uh, round shape away, pointing away. And that needs to go all the way in to the tab here in the center. Same thing from the other side. Just make sure you match the shape. It doesn't face the other direction. And same thing all the way in. Next step is 178. Those are on the bottom of board number seven right here. Bottom right. And uh, those gonna go, I would uh, put a little bit of wax on the ends of the 179 and then put 178 there because they're gonna, it looks like they're gonna be rotating. And our next step is uh, part 180, which is on board number eight. And it's on the left here in the long piece. Careful pushing it out without uh, trying not to break it. Uh, step number four, we need half of the toothpick. I got some leftover parts from before, which uh, should be enough. Almost looks like a half here um, to get it through. Part number 180 is symmetrical. So we just push the toothpick through the three holes, uh, two holes of 177 and then one hole of 180, as far as it can go, flush. And then we cut it off on the other side. Slice it off. Uh, next step, that's gonna be our G2. Uh, so make sure you don't lose the 178s from there. Uh, page number 68. We take G1 and G2. So G1 should be upside down with these uh, parts or 172 towards the top. And uh, we insert that sub assembly that we just did into these two tab uh, holes with the 178 tabs into them. I'm gonna do one first. And then the second one, don't forget to put the part in there. And do the second one all the way in. Now we have that part moving up and down. And uh, I'm gonna put it aside again. Let's see, parts, step number two, we need parts number 181. That was uh, one. 81 is right here, 185 fell out. So 181 on the board number eight on the right hand side. And then we need parts number 182, four of them. And 182 are on board number seven at the top, a little bit to the left here. So there's three right here, little cluster. Uh, 
and then one a little bit below. Let me get this out. 192 is right here. Uh, so these four, we're gonna take, let's see. Turn it uh, so that hole is facing towards you or down and turn it around so the writing is uh, backwards, like so you can read it from the other side. And that's the side that you insert 180, 182 right on the cluster of three holes here on the outside of those. Uh, so like the two holes or two holes on the outsides with the round off portion facing outwards. So circle comes in to be inside, just like that. Make sure it's there all the way in. And then step number three, we need parts 183 and we need uh, four of those. They're also on board number seven right here and here. So we pulled them out a little bit early, earlier and they're on separated pieces here on the side. So two 183s here and then another two 183s on the other piece in the top right corner, top left corner. Okay, and those three gonna go into the, or four gonna go into the one, two, three, four openings here, not in between the um, 182s. So I'm just gonna insert these. If it doesn't insert very easy, put a little bit of wax on there or send it down slightly and put a wax, but um, they should go in because they're pre-cut slots uh, just to get, um, so these uh, act like a spring a little bit. Now we need another half of the toothpick. Got one right here on the side and that's gonna go from the back through that hole here. And we push it all the way in until it's flat on that side. Uh, in step number five, we insert part number 185, which can be found on board number eight. Uh, so it's one board number, oh, sorry, 184. So there's top left corner here. Just do one. I'm not sure if we need, it doesn't show that we need to do anything with it so that's gonna go we turn this thing upside down and on the end here that where the hole is at that's where you insert that whole um, sub, sub assembly that we created so with the round off portion oops, my 184 just left me uh, give me a second if I can find it It just flew off. My carpet's kind of dark here, so. <laughs> All right, uh, 184 back on there. So it's gonna go through that long piece, the hole in here. So that's where the toothpick's gonna go through. And then into that hole where it says up and down, that's where part number six goes into. at least should go into just like that and then uh, we move on to page number 69 and from the other side we put the second 184 in there and there's one spare just in case if you lose one just like I did but lucky for me I found it back so I put it through the toothpick and then I do part 185 which is on board number eight, but it got removed a little too soon. So I have it laying on the side and that's gonna go over, let's see, matching the same outline. Um, so I'm gonna start from the bottom here, there, the toothpick first, and then let's see whichever parts are 
push it right in and trying to get the holes in proper way line them up or align them and squeeze it in make sure they're aligned because if they're not they're not gonna squeeze very easy there you go now as much as you can until they're all properly seated uh, once we do that, uh, we need part number, step number three, we need part number 186, which is on the top left of board number eight, which we're done with. And that goes with the U-gears towards you. It's going to go in the top holes here of the joystick. Uh, and then step number four, we need parts 187, uh, board number six, which we already pulled some time ago. So there's two 187s here and two 187s here. So get those out. Let me get them out of the parts first. And these gonna go on the sides, uh, one, two holes here on the opposite side. Covering the three holes. And giving it a nice round off shape. Just like that. And then we slice off the toothpick that is sticking out on here. So just take it off and we're done. So this is our part number G. Moving on to part, uh, page 70. And uh, put that G on the side for now. Page 70. Uh, toothpick cut in half. Uh, part number 188. Uh, board number one. Top right corner here. Two of them. And 189, it's gonna be right a little bit below the middle here to the left of center line on the same board number one. Uh, and we take the toothpick that we just cut, I'm gonna push it through 188, all the way through, through 189, and then put another 188 on the other side. And squeeze them together and cut off the toothpick at the end. Uh, that's gonna go let's see that's gonna go on to the there's two holes right underneath here on the tower uh, next to that long piece here. And that's where the 188 needs to stick into. And let's see, need to rotate it a little bit, lay it down maybe to get your fingers in there, kind of tough. Okay. 
one is in, the second one, come on. One is out. All right. One's in, and it's out. Tricky sliding them up, and okay. So now we got it inserted, we're all good to go. It's done with the step number six. Moving on to the page number 71 and we need part number 190 so that part is gonna go that's on board number seven uh, top right corner here And now I can get rid of this board also. And that part, it's gonna go into, from the bottom into this hole right here and into the uh, hole on uh, that extension leg. So we're gonna go into the hole from the bottom first. Kind of like a support anchor. All right, it's in. Now we need to insert it into this hole. All right, now it's in. And the last step on that page, step number two. Uh, let me see, you guys can see it. Um, let me rotate the tower a little bit. Uh, we gonna take that handle that we just assembled. So this piece is gonna go through the top hole into the assembly. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All the way up to the little T intersection there. And uh, let's see if I insert it correctly. Um, no. Not exactly. Or did I? Uh, Yes, it's so it's gonna it, it goes underneath that uh, top caution plate, so just like that, the way I put it in, so that's correct. We don't need to come back and fix it or anything. Uh, let's see, our next step is gonna be to page number seventy-two. Get to part number eighteens. Uh, step two and both of those are on board number one so those are the last two parts that are left on this board here one is in bottom right corner one is right here a little bit below the middle on the left of the center line these two are additional parts this one's additional so we're good to go that board is done and these guys gonna go right on on these circular pieces here one side and the other side on inside I'm not sure if you see it or not but one is right here uh, right on this one and the second one gonna go on to this part and then we insert these into the two holes on that well I guess I'm a little bit ahead but onto these two holes on each side of that arm of fork. Gonna rotate it um, sideways right now, so it's gonna be a little bit more comfortable for me to put, and then I'll show you how, or let me see, maybe I'll do it sideways. So one is right here, and then has to go or the other way we can put it in first because that side the other side we can adjust and then it goes over the let me see I didn't insert it completely 
that goes over here. And then we're gonna do the other side. I won't be able to show you as clear, but um, maybe you'll be able to see it or figure out on your own. Make sure the other side doesn't fall off. As you insert those tabs into the holes. And here you go. Both sides are done. So this side is right here. Not sure if you can see it. Nope, 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 nope. Right there. Into the holes. And then the second side. Sorry about that. Get back. And the other side is right here. All right. Uh, we're done with this step number one and two. Next step, we need half of the toothpick, which we already had from before. And that's gonna go connecting mm -hmm. these little parts with the part 189, I think it was. So there's two holes on that hammer and through the little hole right here on that, like a little extension. Mm, let me see if you can see it, you probably can't decided it would be better so uh this guy has to go in between these two guys and you put the toothpick right through these three holes mm, hold on i can't do it with one hand but you got the idea and i'm gonna do it on the table way that's going to be more comfortable for me you may need to separate these guys a little bit to get the, that part I think 189 to squeeze in there kind of hard to get your fingers in there too there you go and now we push the toothpick through all three And step three, we need to cut it off on the other side. So once again, I'm pushing the toothpick through all these three parts right here. And I'm gonna use the helping tool to do that. Once again, on the table probably, cause it's not very comfortable. Make sure you don't puncture yourself once again. With the toothpick but can I do it holding it up so I'm just gonna lever lever leverage it on a table and push it through all the way in so it sticks out right here and then my next step on page number 74 is to cut it off So I just pre-cut. And snap it off. All right. Uh, we're done with the tower. And our next steps are going into building the helicopter. After that, let's see. And then we'll check the operation. And after that, we we'll build, let's see, the second build is the plane. So let's do the helicopter. I'm gonna put the tower on the side. And let's see, clean up the area here a little bit. All right, so we're like last pages of the assembly. Uh, helicopters first, that's the one that has blades. Uh, so it's self-explanatory which packet you need to use. Take the plastic off, a little these little boards. Also has the H on them. And the plane would have a 
for airplane. All right, so we need three boards, four boards here, three boards. And we need actually from A1, so I'm gonna open the second pack too. We need a part from A4. I'm gonna take it out so I don't lose it. Two, 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 two. Uh, that's part number one. All right, uh, so let's start. Uh, step number one, part number one, which I already took off A4 and uh, four parts, 265. So the 265s, there is three, four, five on here. So we just need three for now, uh, four for now. So I'm gonna take this uh, one, these two guys. Leave one on there, two, three, four, put it aside. So uh, let's see, one, two, three, and four. Now we need two toothpicks. As you can see, we still have plenty of toothpicks left as we were conserving them too. So I got a little more than probably needed, but even if you don't use, um, if you use uh, not conservative, uh, not as conservative as I did, uh, you still should be okay with the quantities So this one. Toothpicks one at a time. That's step number two. We insert the four toothpicks. And then parts number two, which would be on board number H3. So H3, there's a bunch of little twos here. One, two, three, four. And then we send them and wax them just as before. and then wax and I'm gonna put them on the toothpicks right away rather than setting them on the side Part number 107 and that one's on board H3 top left corner here probably should not or continue specify where location is just for you guys be easier to find the part and then it goes right in the center in between the little part twos So you need to kind of lay it flat to get it in perfectly. And then part 191, which is on board H1, right here at the bottom left. And push the circle out with the part 200 inside there. That goes over these guys, over the toothpicks on the outside of twos so it'll be spinning on uh, on those and we lock it up with the other number one 
which is on board H3, bottom left. So same thing as before, on the tower we push the toothpicks through the holes as far as it can go and then onto the threes which you might need to align a little bit a little bit at a time and it should spin it easy almost too easy and then you cut off the toothpicks all right uh, that was page number 75 moving on to the page 76 uh, we need parts number 192 193 uh, they are on Boards number H1 and one on bottom right. And this one's gonna go one into the other. Give a little pressure, and then I would send the sides. and apply a little bit of a wax onto them just to slide parts easier. And we need part number 184, 194, sorry. It's right in the middle of board number H1. Just careful with that one, most commonly broken. And then you insert it from either side. Kind of work it in a little bit. Um, and let's see, we need to pay attention. So before you put it on, there's like a little step on one of the sides so that should be on the opposite side from that step so um you insert it on that part and then push it in kind of like from both sides all the way down to the center here and then from the same turn it around from the side of the little step we insert a little sub assembly that we just did. By the way, we do need to wax that gear. And once again, from the part with the step, we insert the little sub assembly that we just did. Doesn't matter from which side been picky and that's gonna go all the way to the end also <coughs> now we put it aside we're done with step number two um, step number three we need parts 196 and 195 h2 for 196 and uh, 195 is in the bottom right of uh, H2. So we sand the sides here, right up to the tabs on both ends. I would probably apply a little bit of a wax on those also, just to slide the parts easier. And then from the shorter side, uh, we put the 195 in there. Uh, and then we need two 197s, which are on H3 board in the top left corner here. And those are 
I'm just gonna go with the little tabs right into part number 195 here. From one end. Shorter. And from the other end. As far as they can go. And then we insert 198 right at the end of that uh, long 196. Then 198 is on H2. There's three of them here. So we just need one for now. Waxed the gears. And it goes right over 196. Uh, let's see how far. I guess there's like a little step on it. No, maybe it's not a step, but. Shows a little bit of distance in between, so I'm not pushing it all the way down. Moving on to page number 77. I'm gonna put that aside. Uh, part 199 on H1. To the right here, right in the middle. Part 41, in the same board right here to the left. Kind of like halfway in between middle and the top. There's actually a few of them, two of them here. Uh, wax it and send it just like before on parts 41 and that goes from the long end of uh, 199 all the way to the tab and then we need two other 198s that we pulled out earlier from board number H2 Waxed. And they go right behind. All the way to 41. Uh, and then another 41, which is uh, on the same board. Kind of like at the middle to the right, a little bit of the center line. Send it and waxed. Gonna go on the end, locking the gears in. Just like that. And then we take the little sub-assembly and we insert it with the shorter piece into the hole here. And then we take another part 195, which is on the top left corner of board H2. And that goes over 141 and that long piece there, there's like a little movement, and then we need part 200, which we pulled out a little, no, it's 240, 200 is on the right here. Uh, get that out. Send it, and it's gonna go right at the end of that little, or wax it right at the end of the tab. Push it as far as it can go. All right, and we're done with page number 77. Moving on to the page number 78. 
uh, that subassembly, we need two parts 201, uh, which are on board number H1. One is right here at the top left. And the second one is within that circle here, like somewhere in, almost in the middle. And these guys uh, gonna go with the tap down opening towards you onto the rod here. And we take the previous sub assembly. Uh, let's see, with the gear facing up, we insert these two at once into the first holes uh, and the third hole. And these two guys gonna go into these holes on the side. And then you match the other four holes for the other components. And so as I, you can see, I already inserted one incorrectly, 201. So I'm gonna start with the first one, get the second one in into the third hole. Then you get these guys in, start off. Oops. Still have a chance to get those back in. Line up all the parts. And squeeze them in as far as they can go. You might want to move the gears slightly to get them interconnected, interlocked. And squeeze everything in as far as it can go. Let's see. Work the gears a little bit. All right, need to get get them working worked in a little bit. So I'm spinning the one right here in the center. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're done with step number two. Step number three. And turn these around upside down and then we insert part number 202 which is on board number h2 uh let's see top left corner here a little bit below the and then with the uh, slit tab towards you we get that into the two at once like that uh, part number 203 which is right next to it so that slot should be towards the back that's the exclamation point then uh, second hole we insert the U gears facing back like that, and then two or four, which we also pulled out a little bit before. That one, wax, and the gears, and then we insert it right at the end there. And now when you spin that, that should spin that rod very easily so that's going to be our part h1 moving on to the page number 79 let's see we need two ones again uh, they're on board a five 
top left corner. Uh, 265s. One of them we have here on the side. And three within the circle on H2 or center piece. Those gonna get into one of the port ones. Same as before, two toothpicks. Cut in half. Inserting from the back, that's step number two. From the bottom. Once again, I'm using my surface to push them in. And then we need four more twos, which are on board number H3 in the left hand side here. We have one spare. And these are once again sanded and waxed. And as I wax them, I'm gonna put them onto the uh, toothpicks, same as before, just to make sure I don't lose them. Then we need another 107. On board H2, right at the center here. Send it and wax. Uh, as I said, you just need to send off the connection points. The rest should be nice and smooth. And that's going right in the middle there. I'm gonna use the helping tool to get it, kind of try to get it centered. Yep. Just like that. Uh, next part is 205 on board H3, right in the middle here. And then 222 is within that circle, so. I'm gonna pull that out. Just remember that it's a 222. So this guy is gonna go over these and make sure that it goes all the way to the surface there of one. And then we put another one on top. All right, we get it down to the numbers 265. Once we get it low enough, we adjust those 265s just to be straight. So they're coming in right into the hole. And that offset. All right, this one seems a little bit off. There you go. in and then make sure there is rotation get somewhat smooth and then cut off the toothpicks and we're done with that part on page number 79 
Moving on to the page number 80. Uh, parts 207 and 206. Uh, they're on H1. Uh, parts 207 is right in the middle, one of them. And the second one right at the center at the top. Part 206 is to the right, uh, closer to the top there. Uh, let's see, and then we insert 207s with a tab down, that little long piece towards you, onto the sides of the 206, as far as it can go. It's our seat. And then that goes right with the tabs or these long pieces facing you, right into these holes of the sub assembly that we just did. All the way in. Next, we need one rubber band cut in half. And we take one piece, let's see, insert it into a hole here. Uh, well, too thick to push it through, but I didn't need to. Or actually, no, you need the toothpick there. Mm, let's see, so I'm gonna get parts that I have left here. So I'm just gonna do from the top, you push one toothpick on one side, and you push it all the way in. So I'm gonna use the tool. Get the toothpick all the way in that will help us hold the rubber band just like that then the rubber band is going to go over the top here Let's do it into the second hole first. Push it through. Wrap it around these handles and use the second toothpick on the other side to lock it in, to lock the rubber band in. broke off before that and then we chop off the excess toothpicks I mean I got enough on there to lock the rubber band in and chop off the toothpicks at the ends there and I guess I can cut a little bit of excess of that rubber band okay and we're done with page number 80 moving on to the page 81, so rubber band sits right over these handles. Um, part number 208, that's gonna be on board H2, top left corner. The part 20, 220 is inside, but we need to move it, push it out. And then part number 209, which is gonna be on board number H1, right at the center, a little bit below middle here. So that one's gonna go with the hole at the top flat uh, on the right. It's gonna go into the two left holes. It's our little door. And then two tents, which are on uh, board, same board H1. Then the right hand side a little bit below the middle here. Two two tents. We're going to insert into these two holes with a rounded off portion facing towards the flat. Just like that. Uh, and then uh, step three is part number 211, which is on board number H1 on the left hand, top left. And there's two tents right inside of it, so we push those out. Keep them 
for the next step and then uh, we need part number 209 the second part 209 it was right below on h1 below 211 so get that out uh, now this one hole at the top flat on the left we put the 209 on the right most holes And two tens. Same as previous. These two holes with the round off facing towards the flat portion. Now we have two doors left and the right. Um, step number five, we got part number 212, which is on board H2, right at the center here towards the top. And two parts number 213, they're on board Mm -hmm. Which ones do they point to on board number H1, the top right corner, and uh, bottom right corner here. Uh, so with the round circle going towards you and round off uh, section to the left, two thirteens insert into these two holes with the round off rounded portion facing towards that opening here, large larger opening. Now we bring the ones with the door that the to uh, these hinges are on the right. We bring it in and take the toothpick, kind of uh, push it into that opening. We take the toothpick and we push through these four holes. I'm holding the hinge just to so make sure. I don't break those off. And we push those off as far as it can go. until there is uh, enough of the flat portion sticking out. So I'm gonna cut off part of the toothpick here. So it's flat portion. And then I'm gonna use the helping tool to get more of it in. So the bottom hinges are, so I got it as far as I could. I'm gonna cut off, clean up that top surface here. So it looks nice and smooth. And then chop off the toothpick at the bottom. Now your doors should be on the hinge. Done with page 81. So that's our H3. Move it on the side, uh, step two, H4, we need part number 214 on the bottom of H2, right here. Now it's uh, the other way around. So that uh, round off portion facing to the right, and we insert two 213s, which are on board number H1. Okay, 
taking up space here a little bit once again with the round portions or round surface facing towards that large opening insert the door and then insert the toothpick step four I'm gonna actually pre-cut a little bit Break it, pushing it through. Check my balancing skills. All right, almost there. A little more. The bottom ones are tough. There you go. A little more. So the door opens, we're good on the hinges there. And we just need to get that toothpick all the way in, flat. There we go. And then cut it off on the other side. Now we have another door and that's our H4. Uh, step number or it's page number 83 step number one we take that h1 part and h2 uh, with all the gears facing down we insert that through the part there and leave it at the bottom now part 105, which uh, 150, uh, 215 that fell out. Uh, so with the larger section here towards the top, we insert it into the two holes, one at the top here. And one on the bottom. Uh, and then H, let's see, turn it around so that round off piece to the right. H4, with the door towards the front. That's the last time the way you assemble. Goes on the front or the side that's facing you. as far as you can push it onto the tabs. I should say as far as it can go rather because you can maybe a little bit spacing issue. Uh, our next step is uh, 216. And let's see, 216 is on board number H1. On the right hand side here at closer to the bottom and that's exclamation point the little dot so that would face uh that dot's gonna go into the, or little tab, it's gonna go into the bottom hole here. The opening's gonna go into that circular portion here. Two nineteen, which is right below it on the right hand side of board number two, H two, H one. Sorry. Each one, each one. That's gonna go at the top, same way. So toward the round up, uh, 
the rounded portion towards the outside. So top hole and into the hole here. Then 217, that's with the two dots. Oh, so that's the, it's just one dot, now it's two dots, 217, that's top right of the same board. It's gonna go into the second hole on the bottom. And that's the exclamation points is that there are two, two dots, two marks. Up page 84, and then 218 is to also top right corner. That one's got a three little marks. That's it's gonna go in the last hole here on the top. And slide it in the center hole. And now we do H3s on the other side. So this one's going to have more parts. I'm going to start with the larger tabs here on the sides first. Larger ones and then feed these guys in. tabs make sure that they fit now we can squeeze it harder to get all of these in They're all around now we're done now we need to about Small section, so we have a half here. I'm gonna do, what is it, about one and a half hours or so. And we need two of these. Another toothpick cut in half. Oh. I'm gonna use up. I don't know if we need to cut out those toothpicks or not. So that should go about 30 millimeters. <sighs> That's too short, so I'm gonna use another rubber band. That's three squares for me. A little piece of toothpick, so it's gonna go, let's see, first hole. We're gonna go on the outside here. So push the rubber band in. Push it in and then use the toothpick to get it even further in. It's not working as well as it did before. Maybe a little thicker toothpick uh, or rubber band. So to use the toothpick to get it in.
it's not coming in. So I'll be back to it a little bit in a little. All right, let's uh, new day. Let's try it again. So I'm gonna try to push these in, and it seems like they're not going in. So uh, let's see, toothpick. As I've been struggling with it yesterday. Now, I guess I was just tired. Now let's see if we can push it these through with the toothpick. You really should uh, probably add those on. Before assembling. All right, I got one in. I just need to get deep enough so it sticks out on the other side that I can see just to make sure I'm using toothpick to push the rubber band in. Into the hole. Until it's visible on the other side. All right. So just to make sure that there's enough length. All right, I can see it. So to make sure it's enough length in there. And so now I pushed it in and I'm gonna use that little piece of toothpick that I had. Let's see, actually, let's just cut off to make a even one. I don't know if we're gonna need to, uh, so just a small portion of it with the sharp end. I'm gonna slice it up. So it's nice clean cut and I'm gonna put it in the same hole and then use the tool to push it in. Let's see, do we need to push it in? How far? Uh, moving on to the page 85. Uh, yeah, as far as you can until you lock the rubber band in place. So the toothpick is sticking through inside and it holds the rubber band in place. So let's do the other piece. I need another 30 millimeter one. And do the same thing on the other side. So uh, one of these smaller toothpicks. And do the same thing on the opposite end. So I'm trying to feed it in. Uh, I'm gonna put one end of rubber band right next to the hole and then I'm, I'm using the toothpick because I was trying that yesterday and I guess been sitting for too long but uh, I'm using a sharp end or pointy end of toothpick to push that rubber band into the hole because the holes are not big or the rubber band is a little bigger I can use the longer toothpick it's just going to be easier to handle it but pretty much I'm lining up the end and kind of Push that end in. All right. Once you get it in, it's going to be a little bit easier. So you kind of like just slowly but surely shove it in into the little hole until it protrudes a little bit from the other side. Then you know it's good. Use a smaller piece of to uh, toothpick make sure it's just a flat end there and push it with a sharp end kind of hold the rubber band in place to make sure it doesn't grab the whole thing and just push it in until the toothpick is all the way through and flat with the surface there so you got rubber band sticking out toothpick is still there now we need two more pieces so as I said I'm just using whatever left over from my previous uh, toothpick pieces. As you can see, I haven't cleaned them through the assembly, but obviously you're welcome to use the new pieces as we still have plenty left. So, uh, all right, so the next step, that was step number one and two. Uh, next step, we need another toothpick. And let's see, so we open up the door. 
we bring the toothpick through underneath underneath this frame over onto the door and get get it through that little hole on the door all right now that's going to be a challenge um let's see if we can pull some So I pulled some just to make sure that's uh, pulling on it so it doesn't pull back. And I'm doing the same thing. It's pretty much getting one end into that hole until it pops up on the other side. And I don't know if you can see it, but it pops up a little bit here and I'm gonna use the toothpick and actually push it through. Hold the door, make sure you don't break it. And I'm gonna use the tool to help me so now the toothpicks are holding the rubber band and gives them a little spring for the doors and I'm gonna push it in as far as it can go and the little spring effect on there uh, let's see, that was one side, and then I need to cut off the toothpick. And just like that. And we don't need to touch the ones on the inside, but I can also, if you can reach there, you can also cut it off and get it out. All right, so that was one side of the door, and now the other side of the door, we're going to do the same thing. Now, uh, let's see, I'm just going to prepare the toothpick. And cut to make sure it's flat end. Open the door, and same thing, you bring the, tooth, uh, the rubber band through underneath the frame. Stretch it up a little bit so you get it. So you'll be able to get part of it into the hole. The other side is a little tougher. Once you get it in, you just push little by little. Until a little bit of it sticking out from the other side. And then you can hold it from the other side and then use the toothpick that you pre-cut. Where is it? Right here. Push it through that hole using the tool. So once you get the little bit of a toothpick in there that should hold the rubber band, and then you push it in, holding the part, make sure you don't break it. And now you get another side of the door or a second door. So I'm gonna cut off that extra rubber band there. Piece and then pre cut the toothpick, snap it off, and then gonna go on the other, like on the inside, open the door, and slice off the toothpick on the inside so it doesn't stick there. All right, so we're done with the toothpicks. Uh, page 85 is complete. Let's see. Uh, Cleaned up the area a little bit. Um, step uh, page number 86, step one, two parts, 220. So I have one in front of me. And uh, both of them are on H. Well, there's one on H1. This is from H2. So we need four total for the steps one and two. I can get rid of the board, H1 board. There's nothing left there. 
H2, there's two more on the top, right in the center. And we do, there's two holes on here with these little openings facing down. We insert them into there and turn it around. And get the other two pieces in there. All right, uh, next step, uh, 221, two of them. They're on the right-hand side of board H2. Skis. Um, and these going to go with these uh, little uh, holes that you see on them. Uh, well, obviously, they're facing forward, that little sloped portion uh, we need to insert these where the holes are at into parts 220 and then you snap it in so it's gonna sit in there nice and perfect just like that uh, next step we need part number 222 and that's that little piece that came out um, some time ago that's on board H3 right here within the center so we take that, there's three holes on there. We need uh, two toothpicks cut in halves. One and two. And three of them, uh, well, obviously wax the gear. I barely got anything left here on the wax on the candle. And the toothpicks push through these three little tiny holes. One. Once again, I'm holding right by the hole, so I don't break any parts off. Push that through. Uh, then we need part number 223, which is on board H3, right at below the center, uh, below the middle here and to the left of the center. So get that out and let's see. Inserted from the tooth uh, side of the toothpick. Uh, in the end, I don't think it matters much, but I mean, on the picture that they show, the, the round off portion kind of facing the counterclockwise direction. The flat portion is facing the clockwise. So um, I'm going to do the same thing just for the aesthetics portion. And then we cut off the toothpicks. from that rotor. Okay, now we're done with page 86, moving on to the page number 87. And that rotor is gonna go on the back with the gear towards the inside. Onto that uh, part that is sticking out, I'm gonna put a little bit of wax on it. Right on the edges. Then put that, uh, line it up, line up the gears, and then it locks up with the 224, which is right below, a little bit below the middle at the center of H3. That goes locking that in place. Now we're done with step two. Step number three, we need parts 226 and 225. So 226 right here on board H3 and 225 bottom right corner. 225 is on the bottom. And then you line up, that has got a little tabs on there. And then you line up the holes. Make sure these uh, T-shaped holes are uh, same way. And then you need parts 227. 
with two of them on the bottom right corner of H3. And one of them on the H2 bottom, oh, sorry, bottom left corner and bottom right corner of the H2. Uh, now let's see, make sure all the angle facing kind of down towards the counterclockwise side. That's the way they're showing it. That's the exclamation point. And it's in the same direction all around. So we're going to insert one first. I'm pushing it against the surface there. Slide it in. And now the other two sides. So let's see down towards the clockwise direction and down so they'll squeeze the three parts together then I'm using my helping tool to get them in a little further And then we put the blades on there to 28. They're top right corner of H3. Those are the last part on here. And these go with the blades once again with the uh, smooth or uh, round off facing. towards the clockwise direction. Pretty much you want to face them the same direction. <laughs> now we're done with page 87, page 88. Need to put a little, well, we had some wax on there already. So uh, we just put it at the top. far as it can go there's a step so we just leave it on there and then our helicopter is done uh, page 89 well let's see if everything rotates nice and smooth you want the rotation to clear all the burrs so I'm gonna play around until it's nice and smooth so when the blades Top blades rotate, the, sh the rear one rotor should rotate, and then you want to play with it a little bit until you don't feel any of that sticking. It's a large system, so you want to reduce that as much as possible. As you can see, everything's moving nice and smooth as I spin it without any sticking. And we're done with that. Now, uh, page 89, we take our large assembly and we want to put the helicopter on here. So you push it in. There's uh, that surface right here. Uh, you want to get it right into these openings. So your gear is going to be spinning the propeller, that outside gear. So you bring it in. Kind of like a uh, little bit under the angle. Let's see which way it would be better. Here you go. And you look 
the helicopter right on the end there. So push it down until it's locked. So now it's sitting on the tower. Uh, let's see, maybe I need to bring the camera a little bit higher up, but let's see if it's going to work. Uh, moving on to the page, I'm going to put it aside for now. Moving on to the page where there is a lot of reading, 90, page 90. So first thing first, uh, adjustment of the counterweight mechanism. After assembling the whole model, fix the cal uh, helicopter on the bar and add coins to the maximum available diameter to the mechanism. Uh, me mechanism holder until the bar assumes a horizontal position. After this, fix the retainer. All right, so um, this is our system here. Uh, and let's see, the helicopter is a little bit heavier on my side. So like if you look, well, if I see it, so it's kind of tilting towards the helicopter a little bit. Um, as I'm letting it Said so I need to add the coins. Uh, let's see. So my system's leaning towards the helicopter. So you can add the coins right here at the end. So you pull that little tab out. The one that we inserted. So it's a nice little connections on here. And you can put coins in here. And this thing on a rubber band. So you can pull it out a little bit to fit coins. And you need to fit as many as you can or the largest diameter possible. I mean, I guess different weights and everything to get the helicopter fixed on a level. So uh, let's see. Oop. Double check. It is leaning. Helicopter is leaning towards uh, that level. So I need to maybe quarter or so so i'll be back all right i'm back with uh, four coins uh, if you just quarters in my case and i'm gonna put them in one by one to see if it's gonna change the tilt a little bit All right, three maybe. All right, three coins. Now it's level. No. No. Maybe a fourth one will do the trick. So I was able to get four coins in there. I don't think you can get any more because they're going to start falling out from the back. And so now it's sit sitting somewhat level. Uh, put a retainer back in there and don't know if it's gonna help or not but the coins are sitting in there so we're now it's level for me at least uh, yep next step moving on to the page number 91 and then configure this wash plate. Uh, there are four tensioners roller, uh, rollers for adjustment. Roller number one turns clockwise six, seven turn so that the skew machine bends to, uh, forward towards the adjustable roller. Compensate roller number two to the horizontal position. Rollers number three and four repeat the manipulation. Uh, therapy achieving an absolutely flat surface of the bar. So this bar on the bottom here, or not bottom here, that we need to adjust. So, um, let's see, this is a very bottom right here. So this is numbered, let's see, adjustment plate towards me. So if you read adjustment plate, one on the left is gonna be uh, number one and one on the right is gonna be number three. So we need, uh, there are four tensioners, uh, roller number one, turn clockwise six seven turn so one two three four five it's not gonna go seven but 
it unwinds. So I guess as much as I go and then compensate on the other side by roller number two until some plate, oh, this plate Uh, which is going to be directly counterclockwise, looks like it, on the back there. And we're talking about that caution plate, the one that I'm going to pull on that. Releasing a little bit one and two to get it flat, and then we'll do you know, pull on one a little bit. So I'm playing it to get that uh, play that it says caution uh, by its own weight. I'm playing with the two diagonal ones a little bit here a little bit there uh so you got one two three four so right now it's three and uh i guess uh four diagonally from each other i mean at least that's the number it looks like that's the numbering that they gave and one and two also diagonally from each other i'm playing with these to get that play that uh, the one that says caution horizontal to this to my surface uh, or my, my table, I guess, in this case. So I'm just gonna, I'm releasing them and tying them up a little bit to get that adjustment in. Here we go. And then until it's uh, flat, I mean, you wanna play with it, give it a little push a little bit, just uh, so it adjusts because there might be some friction involved in there to not keep it straight. So now my, long arm is straight the caution plate is perpendicular or per parallel to this uh to the table moving on to the page number 92 there's a lot of uh red uh, marks on here or red font it says attention put the model on a flat surface and make sure that it stands firmly do does not slip Make sure that the distance from the face of the bar with the model is at least 50 centimeters and nothing prevents the free rotation of the model. Pilot the model only with safety or in safety glasses. Uh, just to make sure if anything flies off. Uh, and then we're off to the piloting. Uh, page 93, it says, uh, starting the engine, bring the ECK engine control knob to position one, which is pull up, then down towards you uh, until you, you hear a click locking mechanism. So now it doesn't move anywhere. That's locking. Then uh, rotate the engine valve number two counterclockwise 25 half turns. And so uh, that's this side right here. Uh, and we do 25, let's see, that's a moment of truth. 25 turns. So half turns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me move that portion out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm a little bit afraid to go any further for now. Uh, I want to start off and easy on it to see how far we can go. So I feel a little bit of tension. As you can see, my rubber bands are pretty tight on there. So maybe another turn, um, don't want to risk it. So um, we did that. Now our next step is to launching the model is on um, ECK, pull the trigger with the inscription pull-ups and slowly smooth 
we move the ECK to position two, uh, there will be regulating the rotation speed of the engine. Um, gonna continue reading before we go. The RPM mo module, uh, the maximum speed limit of the engine is limited to the form of an sheaf. Hmm. All right, uh, with an up on the mark zero, or zero mark, the engine speed is reduced to the minimum speed, and when the handle is at the 150 mark, the engine speed is reduced to the maximum engine speed, or increased to the maximum, so there's some wording. Um, need to uh, rephrase it, so to say. So, with the knob on the zero mark, the engine p uh, speed is at the minimum, and then when you turn it to 150, that would put it, increase it to the maximum speed. Uh, by adjusting the RPM module handle, you can achieve the ideal engine speed for each of the proposed aircraft models. So right now we're, we're with the helicopter and then there is also a uh, plane that we're gonna build a little bit later after we test this model out. So that's page number 95 and page number 96 is steering wheel control. Uh, so it's not steering wheel, it's a steering joystick. Uh, after starting the engine, hold the control gear in neutral by the, st uh, by the joystick. The joystick makes it possible to control the aircraft and set it in the desired flight path. So the idea here that, uh, let's see, this joystick right here, the one uh, that I'm holding. So that's the one that's gonna do tilting backwards, tilting forwards. Then you push, uh, if you pull it towards yourself, that's gonna uh, lift the aircraft up. And if you pull it towards, it's gonna lift it down a little bit. So the flight path will change along the way. So I'm not sure if you can see it. So that's the joystick that I have right under the airplane here, this guy. You know, we just, last piece of the puzzle that we were creating. So right, left, forward, backwards. Obviously it acts as a joystick so you can rotate it. And as you can see, my whole system moves, the tower moves. So uh, that's the actual operation. Now, the moment of truth. We lift up and unfortunately my, uh, let's see. Let me see if I can increase the height of my, where my camera is so you guys can see the operation too. Um, all right, I lifted up the camera a little bit. Uh, let's see if we're gonna be able to, if I'll be able to show you, uh, or the moment of truth, as I said. So we move this forward and then, uh, let's see right now it's at, we'll do 75 rotational speed. So that's the maximum you can forward, move it forward to. All right, so I had that uh, we need to see, let's see, start for the whole system to start moving. I release the mechanism, locking mechanism. to figure out why it's not releasing. The moment of truth did not come. So it's moving one direction, but doesn't want to unwind. No. Lock it back up for now. 
and trying to figure out what's the what the issue is why it's not moving uh, let's see let's try to remove the helicopter first because that's usually that's additional system that we don't want and then release that and see if it's gonna move around all right so it unwinds so I feel there is a lot of tension in the system and we're gonna try to see if what wheels we can spin in order to release that tension This I move uh, the lever all the way forward position, and then as I'm spinning uh, the engine, actually you can see that the top arm is rotating, so the motion is there, there is just a lot of friction. Uh, so let's see, let's play around with it a little bit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. I have the lever released right now, so I'm just playing with the system to let it work itself in. So as you can see, as I'm spinning it, I pull it, pull it back a little bit. That should be in a slower position, so that's where the locking is. Let's see, I'm gonna lock it right now, release it forward. And you see as I'm spinning the winding up the mechanism it spins rotates so we're good to go there if we move the joystick that joystick speed controller back a little bit and move it forward gonna release so there is friction and you can see it and you can feel it a little bit so let's see pull it back pull it forward as you can see it starts moving and then it will start moving faster and faster with every single time so I'm gonna continue playing with it for now a little more as you can see the speed is much faster with every single turn so the system is released now all the friction let's see let's do 25 turns okay let me release the system completely the rubber bands all right so now they're completely unwound gonna lock the mechanism back and let's see 25 half turns so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm getting a little bit too tight there. So I don't want to go 25 at this point of time. So and then as I move the joystick forward, you can see that the system is start releasing and actually moving forward. So there's a little bit of friction in the motor and that's what I need to play with. 
So the operation of the joystick, what I see, there is like that rubber band, the thick rubber band that we installed at some point of time that's actually breaking on a wheel there. So that's that's what's breaking it. So as you move it completely forward, that's uh, taking the rubber band away from the wheel. So it'll, it'll, it opens up and lets the uh, mechanism spin. Now, if you pull it back, the rubber band is pushing against the wheel uh, and actually breaking it. So it's kind of like acting as a brake and uh, slows it down. So and slows it down significantly. Uh, but uh, the idea is of the brake. Now, moment of truth has come. But uh, now under the angle, once again, put the helicopter back on uh, everything is interconnected and now we're gonna pull that back our almost unwound so I'm gonna do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 turns. I'm gonna release the brake, hold the lever here, release the brake, and that should push the helicopter forward. And we might need a little bit of a push. So it looks like that the gears in the helicopter are blocking it. So now we need to clear that friction up. So that's what I was talking about with the, um, if you feel a little bit of a friction within the helicopter movements, that's what's preventing it from smoothly rolling around. And as you can see, if I'm spinning the blades here, it unwinds and let's it go around. Might want to move a little bit out of the way. Now let's see, lock it back up. Let's take the helicopter off again. And see if there is smooth enough. No, the motion is not smooth enough. So we want to play with it. There's something's locking somewhere, one of the gears. Let's see the system. This system operates just fine. The helicopter is the one that's screwy. And try it again. Sometimes you just need to give it a little bit, little of a push. Fly bird, fly.
just a little tiny friction somewhere within the helicopter now. Oh, here we go. Maybe the gears are not perpendicular. Look it up. So this system works fine. Almost fine. But at least we know that it unwinds and moving the way it's supposed to. So and then once again, the more you play with it, the more it's easier it's gonna move. Work it in a little bit, even further. Continue playing with it. And the more, you, once again, the more you play, the uh, less friction is going to become because the gears going to adjust to them uh, to each other. Uh, all the burrs going to be self kind of like removed because of the friction. As you can see now the speed is getting faster and faster and I'm just like winding and unwinding it pretty much just to get it fully unwound. Another try. Some movement, we're getting better.
So we did get the movement with the helicopter off, but now the helicopter is giving us the ton of friction. That sound is the gear slipping. to see if there is some issues with the helicopter but I mean, there is a little bit I feel of uh, friction when you spin it and there's like a sp specific spot like a little hesitation that I feel uh, so we'll need to continue playing around with the helicopter so we see that the tower works right the helicopter not much uh, might have trip the gear a little bit uh, let's see what would be the best way to get to it if I can get to it so partial disassembly would be required to check what is going on with the helicopter there the blades and make sure everything is seated properly and wind it up somewhere too much tension within the helicopter.
So that's indication that the gear has I mean, stripped the gear on inside the helicopter. And uh, let's see. All right, so we'll need to come back to that mechanism. Uh, in the meantime, let's see. So we know the tower is working. Now we need to come back and fix the gear inside here. So we'll, all I'm going to do is just turn it upside down because it's stripped from underneath. Double check all the mechanism, resend everything. Re, um, uh, let's see. Readjust just to make sure that it doesn't have that little stutter there. But um, I'll be going with you guys while doing that. So, but in the meantime, I'm gonna put it aside. I hopefully you don't mind the the, the height. Uh, I'm gonna continue with the assembly of the airplane. So we're gonna get that assembled. and then come back to the helicopter just to do a quick fix on it. Um, hopefully we're not going to have the same issue with the airplane. Uh, so we're on page number 98. Okay, uh, we're on page number 98. Uh, assembly of the airplane. Uh, so let's see. Uh, first part or... Uh, Three little boards um, so the first one is a4 we need parts number 229 which is right here the little pieces right here and we need five of them so we do carefully pull them out uh, you might want to use the tool because these are tiny little parts so one two three, four, and five. And actually one of my number four kind of split a little bit. So there's an additional, the one that says 229 plus, that's your spare one. So you, if you damage one, just pull the, that one out. So we got five of them. I'm gonna throw the damaged one out. And then we need uh, five part number 41, which are all on board number A5. So three right here in the corner. One, two, three, bottom left, four, towards the middle there, five. And I'm sure we're gonna use more because there's more on these boards. All right, so um, we send these. Little parts, 41s. And uh, we put a wax on them. So in addition, the wax is needed on the edges of those uh, 229 parts. So just 41. as far as it can go. One. Two. Three. Four and five. And we also put a little bit of a wax on these round off. I guess it's a 
piston rods. All right, we're done. Step number uh, two, uh, we need part number 230, which is on uh, board number A4, top left corner. And uh, five toothpicks got, oh, got in half. through these holes one by one push them through two three some of them easier because the th toothpicks are thinner some of them a little harder for the thicker toothpicks but uh, the result is the same one broke off which shouldn't matter because we're going to be cutting that off as long as you have enough length on there to insert the parts on top and we used up all 10. next step number three we need parts number 231 These guys are top right corner of the same board. And, okay, and we insert these 231s in on the pairs of the toothpicks that are right next to each other. That's our step number three. Okay. Careful, don't poke yourself with the toothpicks. And now we cut off every other one that is on the clockwise side of these sub assemblies. So the one on the right stays, the one on the left we cut off. Or pre-cut and uh, snap off, just like this. Uh, next step is step five. We insert these, let's see, into 232, which is on also on A4. And we get uh, these little pistons on the outside into the holes and then that sub assembly we insert it onto the one with the toothpick alrighty and then cover it up with 233 which is also on board A4 right in the center here And then uh, let's see with the these holes on a con uh, clockwise side on the right. If you look at the top one, we slowly and carefully push it over the top of that assembly. Cut off the toothpicks as shown in step number eight. Alrighty, uh, we're done with that, uh, and that's our P4. Uh, put it aside. Next step: two thirty-fours, uh, which are on board A6. Bottom here. 
right of the center. Need 41. One. And uh, part 235, which is also on A6. Top left corner here. Just need one for now. That's a step one. Uh, so let's see, 41, as always, send it. Put a little wax on the outside, although it doesn't say at this point. But uh, we still want to do it. Push the 235 through. All the way in. And then that goes through 234 with this little sh uh, thinner piece towards you, which I guess at this point. And then um, this part coming from the left. And then lock it with the 236, which is also on board number six. from the left. So the that 41 and 235 come in from the right and the wheel from the left. Put it in, done, make sure it spins. And then we do the same thing except mirror image of it. So 230, uh, let's see, 234, 235, 236, and 141. Now 41, send it down, waxed, uh, put the 235 through it, and then with the thin portion towards you, we go with that uh, sub-assembly from the left now and the wheel from the right. And then how will we get the mirror image of it? Just like this. Uh, next step is parts number 237, which is on board number A4. Bottom right corner here. And 79, which is on board A6 on the bottom left. And we insert 279 from the longer portion. And that needs to go all the way down to the end here. So there's like a little uh, not step, but uh, connection point that you want to clean off. Move it all the way to the end. Then 241s, board A5. There's, looks like three left, so we just need two for now. I would clean them. And knowing previous experience, Although it doesn't look like it's going to go into in between, not going to serve as a wheel or anything like that. I still want to put a little bit of wax just in case. If it has to. And then you push these all the way up to the 79. Then we do another one, a 79. And you know what? I'm going to do send the one that I already have on there just in case and send 
the connection points and wax the one I just pulled off. So the second one, all the way up to the 41s. And then the th uh, third 41, I'll put it on the side here. Looks like our final 41 for this whole aviator assembly. That's gonna go all the way at the end. Also wax it a little bit, send it and wax it. And we've got our P3 on here. Moving on to the page 100. These are on the sides. Uh, we need parts number 240 and 239. Uh, they are on the right hand side of A5. So 239, that's long piece right here. And 240 is on the bottom here. Left, uh, a little bit to the left of 239. And then we need part number 238, which is on board number A4, right here, right at the center. So let's see, uh, 240 is gonna go with a little tap towards you, and we insert right by the gauge here into this little slot, as far as it can go. And then the 239 piece, with the tap towards you, that shorter piece, um, and a fourth hole from away from you, we insert the bottom portion. I would put a little bit, before going further, we put a little bit of wax there, onto these little tabs that we're inserting, because we're gonna, that's gonna be locking with another mechanism on there. So just a little bit of a wax, and let's repeat it one more time. Uh, and then the other side, we put the 241. So which it was right next to 238. Same thing. Wax these little connections in. And then we wiggle it in. to get it locked in, in place. Next up is 242. We need, uh, let's see, two of them at this point of time for step number three and step number four. And both of those, or there's four of them, they are in the bottom right of A4. Uh, with, uh, let's see, so there's like a straight tab and there's one a little bit uh, under the angle. So with a straight tab towards this uh, piece on here, we go looking from the front, I guess with the longer piece towards the back, we insert it on the left-hand side into the first hole on the bottom here with the round off portion towards the outside. Just like that. And then the second one, or the other way, step three, I should do. We're gonna go into that uh, hole here that is um, under the angle at the top. Our next step is part number 243, which is also on board A4, bottom left here. It's got a little hole that needs to face at the top. And here we need to kind of squeeze it in to get into the uh, holes. And at the same time, we need to insert the 232, or sorry, 242s into the corresponding holes there. On this side. Let's complete parts of part of our assembly. Moving on to the 101. So our step number one, we pull that uh, part uh, P3. It works that other 79 also just in case. We put it through that hole in the middle from the front. And then we put a uh, part number 244, which is in the bottom left of board number A6. Let's 
can see and there's a little directionality on here so make sure you match it and stick it on uh, let's see it's As I go all the way in, there's like only a specific distance that it puts. Uh, you can put it in because there's like a little tab there. You can hold it in place, and then we put a uh, two more two forty twos. Bottom right of a four. Same thing with the thicker portion towards the back here, and uh, top hole and bottom bottom hole and then that goes 101 moving on to the page 102 uh part 245 bottom left almost bottom left of a4 same thing wax the tabs a little bit And we insert it into the locking it in place first. With the two forty three, or maybe put it on 242s let's see what would be the better way 242s and then make sure you line it up push it down to lock it with the 243 okay Step number two, two parts, 246, which are on board A5, top right corner. These gonna go into the front two holes here. And then that whole assembly, we put a P1 over it. up with the four tabs four holes and put it on now it's a little tight for the rotation here, but as we move it, you need to release it up a little bit. Final step is put 230, 247. That's uh, right in the middle of board A5. And that's gonna go on with that long piece on the bottom, two holes or one ho uh, two holes on the right hand side here. Just like that. And then once again, double check to make sure that this spins freely. as free as I can. Alrighty, step 103, we need parts number 248, which is on in the center on the bottom here of board eight, A5. Need to wax that little hook on here. And that gets inserted on the left hand side on the hole. Then we need part number 249, which is back on board number A4, bottom left. 
also put a little bit of a wax on these little hooks. And that with the holes facing down, that goes the part 248 through the middle hole and the second hole on the bottom. And that gets slid, in, slid, slid into the hole here towards the top. Now we need part number 250, top right corner of A5 with that little angular hole cut out towards the back with the front hole going through the middle there or through the um, 249 top and then 251 board a4 top right and we're done with that board put some wax on the little tabs Once again, with the holes towards the bottom, that locks in into these little tabs. A little bit of a pressure to get them connected, and then you're good. And the next piece is uh, 252 which is, uh, let's see, on board number A5, I'm right in the middle at the left of the center line here, that goes on inside, and into the bottom two holes of the parts number 249 and 251. Like that all the way in and we're done with our base moving on to the page number one of four uh, part 253 which is on the right hand side of board a6 a little bit above the middle hooks same thing a little bit of a wax That goes with a curved one towards the inside. And then 254, which is the bottom right of board A6 with these uh, tabs facing down. Once again, don't forget the wax on them. That gets inserted in these holes. somewhat complex construction if you ask me I might have not inserted this piece correctly let's see so with the shorter piece it needs to go in good thing I waxed it so it actually yeah so with the shorter and more curved pieces towards the back, shorter piece inside, and then it fits nice then with these sub-assembly here. Two fifty-four and then two fifty-five on the other side, once again with the uh, this one. Doesn't matter, but it has a hook, so a little bit of a wax 
goes on the opposite end. And then 256, once again, two, two little hooks. These should be facing up now. So the one in the middle first, and then we line it up and snap it together. pressure work him in here we go all the way in a little tough but need to get them in make sure they lock and then 257s two of them they are on board number a5 once again don't forget to uh, wax the little hooks So these little hooks gonna go towards the inside and connect it all the way to the end. One side and then the other side, just like that. And then 258 with a shorter and flat portion towards the top. And we get it. All the way at the end. Just like that. And then two fifty nine that part on the A five with your gears facing down. It goes right in the middle hole. For the rear uh, page 105 part 250 on board a6 260 sorry top left pull out that 235 block out of there then we need to wax these little tabs And with a round off portion like this that goes let's see into the bottom here actually now we need to turn it upside down so this thing is on the left it goes right into these holes on the bottom And uh, part, then you kind of insert it under the angle, and then this part gets right into the hole, locking it in place. Push it in, and then we got one wing. Step number two is done. All right, so that was part number uh, 260. Moving on to page, uh, page uh, step number three. Uh, part number 261 that's right below 260 and a6 to the left here below the middle and there is additional part number 235 inside we can take that out put it on the side and then 
the same thing and just uh, wax on the tabs and we insert it on the opposite side locking it together with the other wing here we go and uh, let's see so that's upside down and then parts number 262 both of those are on board A5 on the bottom left. So these are somewhat fragile. All right, that board is done. And these go, uh, let's see. I guess it wouldn't matter which way, but that little beam, cross beam, that's on the outside. And it's gonna go towards the back. Up and back or down and back, I guess. Wait, I'm putting it from the wrong side. Down and towards the back. Just want to match it. Uh, let's see, there is no specification. One is going a little bit forward, one is going a little bit back. So it should be as a letter N. But uh, towards the back, so. There's a little tilt, so that needs to go towards the back. And I'm going to redo the other side, just pull it out carefully. And the same thing. And now um, we're done with this, uh, 105, moving on to part, page number 106 and part number 263, that's the long piece here on board A6. And then 236, we can remove that internal pieces there all together. And it's upside down and towards the back. Let's see if we did it correctly. Um, no. So these need to tilt forward. So I'm gonna redo them. Just take them out and move them forward. And now everything should fit properly. Yep. All right. We live to learn. front and now we insert in step number two insert the wheels with the thin towards the back uh, let's see then the wheel towards the outside of the plane one on one side, one on the other, just like this. Uh, step number four is the last piece. Is uh, part number 264, and that's a little propeller. And that goes right on that little thin piece here. Just like this. 
like that. And uh, let's see, we do need little rubber bands, two of them. So, and that goes on the inside. Let's see, we loop it. Okay, so the one set, we loop it underneath the engine. We bring it over onto the other side. I'm gonna use the paper clip that we had from the earlier assemblies. Okay, and I move that paper clip. Let's see, a little bend there. Just make sure I get it into one end and then the other. So, and that's on the bottom. So we hook up, I'm gonna hook up right away. I'm gonna hook up rubber bands. No, oh, let's do it this way. Through the top wing. Feels like I'm in a rush, but uh, I'm just trying to finish up that video that it's not too long. Um, so I push the rubber band through the first holes here. Make sure it's on the T. And then grab it by the two, uh, paper clip. Hold on, let me line it up. Squeeze the rubber band inside that loop and get the rubber band pulled through. Just like that, hold it. I guess pull it through again, the holes. Let's see. Just the right holes uh, as shown on the picture. And considering I never had that question asked before, everybody knows where it should go. Pull the rubber band out. And let's see, we just need to make sure to straighten it out. Get it unwind. Maybe flip a little bit so it looks nice. Just like that, one end and then the other end. Gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna go through the top uh, parts. Those are two forty twos, if I'm not mistaken. So we hook it on a T, push it through the hole here. I'll push it through the, well, it doesn't have to go through, but it can go either in front or behind. I'm gonna do in front for these. Uh, paper clip through the parts. Hook the rubber band on the paper clip, pull it back. Hold it. Pull it all the way in and we're done. So the two rubber bands holding in here and we're done with the page 107. So the assembly is complete. Now as I uh, promised, we are gonna go back. Well, first of all, we need to make sure this plane is operational. As we remember, the tower is operational. Now the question is if the plane's gonna work because helicopter did not. So I'm gonna bring the tower here. 
hook up our plane which is easier a little bit because you're on the outside and operational except we need to work it in a little bit so just like uh, on the actual tower so the plane is a little bit uh, tough And the plane goes partially, uh, but it is operational, so just need to work it. The propeller is moving, the, everything is unwinding, so and let's see. Pull it back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. A little hesitation, but... So we just need to work uh, the system a little bit. Um, as you play more with it, everything's gonna settle better and then uh, we'll operate much smoother. So as you can see, like the same thing, I had a little bit more hesitation inside the plane. So let's see if we can easily wax the parts. All right, at this point of time, I'm just holding the joystick down and I'm winding it up and then releasing the plane just to let it play around a little bit until it uh, fully um, burrs out or uh, cleans out all the uh, restrictions that might be not allowing it to fly freely. So as you can see, there is uh, we're making it about two, two loops now with a little push. And then a little bit more and then uh, that should clear up the, and then you should be able to get it working properly. All right, so, as far as the 
airplane. We just need to uh, wax it up a little bit, but as you can see, the tower is releasing pretty much almost completely. So a little bit more playing around and then we should be good to go. All right, uh, so the tower is cleared. A uh, little bit more lubrication on the plane just to get it moving smoother. Uh, let's see, there's uh, still a little bit of a hesitation. So you might wanna apply um, more wax to the gears here. Um, but uh, let's get back to the uh, our helicopter. Okay, we're... Uh, Back to our helicopter, uh, where we need to relubricate everything a little bit. Uh, let's see. We can remove some portions. We wouldn't be able to remove the whole thing, but some of the parts. Gotta come off. More or less easy. So I'm just uh, trying to get to this uh, sub assembly here to pull it out. portion, rotate it out, get it off, and now we can get, let's see, so we can get this gear off from inside, that's what I'm doing. It's tripped a little bit. I'm gonna oh. I will rotate it to the other side and this gear too. So I'm taking that whole sub assembly out. These gears. Smooth motion. And this gear, I'll just flop it upside down as it did get get stripped a little bit all righty the whole sub assembly back well the problem is there's like a lot of parts that are moving against each other so the motion should be as easy as smooth as possible So I want to put a little bit more wax on these gears here. On the side, just to get the operation a little smoother and simpler, let's see.
and as I mentioned before that we want to use general generous amounts of wax just to make sure that uh, the operation will be smooth uh, let's see I stripped one side here so I'm gonna put it towards the inside gears out of the way just to put this guy on stick it back on get it locked in Put the parts back on the, the ones that we take off and pretty much in the same sequence that you were taking them off. Let's see. Most of the parts back in place. Just line up these guys. Rotor back on. It feels like the operation is much smoother than it was before, but uh, we can test it out right now on the tower. So bring the tower back on. Put the helicopter in. I was hoping I'm still recording. All right, so.
right now the helicopter is my, my smoother operation so I think it was just the gear that were not sitting uh, perpendicular and uh, not enough wax so I'm just added more wax troubleshoot uh, let's see if it's gonna spin a couple times then we're good to go and then we just continue playing until it's fully operational so all right now we got everything working And then we just continue playing until it gets nice and smooth for me. If you guys applied enough wax, that should not be a problem at all. And uh, as you can see, the application of the lubricant actually provides much smoother operation. So um, that completes our uh, assembly of Aviator. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, please leave comments be uh, below. Uh, as you can see, I did make a couple mistakes during the assembly. I have pointed them out in the video. Um, hopefully you guys don't repeat that. Um, once again, plenty of wax. Uh, sand everywhere where possible uh, to reduce the friction and then you should get yourself a working model at the end. Uh, don't forget if you need any part replacements, uh, they're available through me or through the manufacturer. If you purchase the part through me, uh, I will replace it at no charge from the uh, my warehouse in the US. If you uh, placed it elsewhere um, or not of my one of my affiliates, uh, I can either replace them for free or request to replace them for free through the manufacturer, which ships from Ukraine three, four weeks or um, a uh, small shipping charge of $3.50, I can ship it out of U.S. Uh, send request to info at ugears.us. Um, once again, this is Dimitri with uh, UKIT LLC UGEARS. Uh, my website is www.ugears.us, uh, where you can find more models and um, UGEARS Replenisher, where it creates new ones uh, pretty much every couple of months. Uh, we'll see you guys next time with the next model. Uh, see you later. Bye.